recording. Fa, three, two. So, good morning, uh, FMA community. Welcome again to our show with June and Paul. June. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah. And Anthony. So basically, uh, our friends, Karateng uh, Garahe, is uh, doesn't join yet, but hopefully they will join later. So I would like to welcome uh, our friend. Um, medyo na miss namin ito si Eric Acosta. So, Eric, gusto na po. Kumusta? Uh, uh, so, so welcome to Eric on our show. So basically, thank you, thank you. I hope this will yeah, this will be a uh, very much uh, informative, technical in a different aspect of uh, self defense which is more on a uh, gun related uh, uh, topics. So we will learn a lot on this uh, show. So, so Eric, uh, usually what we do on this show is the guest is the one who introduced herself. <laughs> uh, introduction. So you can start now. Don't be shy. Uh, and we will just here to listen. Afterwards, a uh, few, few questions will come in to, to, ask, to ask you, sir. So Kuya Eric, okay. again, welcome po. Hey, good evening sa, dyan sa, sa Florida and uh, good morning dito sa Pinas. I'm yeah. Eric Costa. Uh, Cory is my classmate since time immemorial. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Wal- walang so year, long, oro, walang year, ha? walang year. <laughs> walang year, walang year. Kasi mapagkahala tayo. Nin- 19 forgotten, <laughs> forgotten, gotten na. Forgotten. <laughs> so, basically, uh, kayo kasi uh, magaling na kayo sa martial arts ako naman eh kung may alam rin konti lang kasi when I was I think in 4th grade nag-aral din ako ng ano, yung mga basic karate street fighting so that yeah. was then tapos kinalimutan ko na eh wala na ang kaaway eh. <laughs> so until uh, uh, sometime uh, nahilig ako sa guns naman so bakit ba ako nagsimula sa ba't ba ako nahilig Sa guns. Yeah, how did you start sa guns? Okay, ito Fire, uh, firearms. Yeah, yeah, ito ang kwento. So, ito talaga, I will never forget this kasi parang, for me, it's life-changing. Eh. Uh, mga around 25 years ago, so from the office, I went home. Meron kaming, we have a, a small convenience store. So, pagdating ko, may sumisigaw doon na lasing na tao, no? a drunk guy who was arguing with my wife. So, I don't know what's what what they are arguing about so i just went there so sabi ko hey eh pwede naman we can uh, talk about this amicably no we don't, you don't have to shout especially the one you're shouting at is my wife sabi ng ganun so ganun pa rin siya nang ganun daldal pa rin nang daldal oh. so ela sing so i think sabi ko i can beat this guy kaso <laughs> when when that entered my mind i eh, tinutukan ako ng ano ng uh, pistol so that pistol, I remember till now. I hate that pistol. Sorry, ako meron kayo. It's an, later on, the day after, I realized it was a, a 92 FS Beretta. Wow. Pare, sa ka, ka tinutukan? Tinutukan ako dito. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I mean, holy shit, that close? <laughs> that, point blank. <laughs> Can you, point blank? Point, point, point blank yeah. talaga. So, okay. Way back then, naalala ko yung childhood days ko. Pag nakikipag sa kalsada, uso yan yung away, away kalsada, di ba? Away galye, yeah. yeah. There's mm. always uh, two to six seconds na very vulnerable ka, no? Remember this, ah? That particular time, masisinta ka. You'll get frightened, you'll get, you know, shocked, something like that. So, within that particular period, marami mangyayari sa'yo. Maari ka magulpe. Hanggang hindi mo na alam, nag-pass out ka na. So, that is ingrained in my mind. So first six the, seconds. The first, the first within the first six seconds yeah, of an you encounter. To, you know, you have to. Yeah. Be, you have to be. You have to. Uh, parang tell yourself, oh, stop. Think straight. Yeah. Ganun agad. Think straight. Yeah. Yan yung yeah, flight, you know? flight or fight mode. Kagad. Right. Yung you know my experience first, mo. So first five yeah. to six seconds. So yung first one and half second, yung tinutukan ako, 
pagod siya. Totoo pala yun, yung you will remember yung childhood days, good times, parents, grandparents. Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh you, you, you like flashback talaga. I mean, everything. May flash uh, sa harap ko. So, Napasama ba ako doon sa memories? <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Para naman, nakakatakot kasi yung storya mo eh. Diyos ko, kina, kinikilabutan ako ng storya mo. Magpapatawa muna ako sandali. Ay, talaga. Ganun pala feeling, no? Okay, okay. Go ahead, Eric. So, so, when that happened, so, sabi ko, wait, nagkano ko, I, I think straight. Sabi ko, okay, if you're going to shoot it, do it. Nag-bluff na ako. Kasi I know a lot of people are gathering na yung mga uzi, yung they want to, you know, ano ba nangyari dyan? Ano nangyari? Yeah. So, mga chismoso, chismosa. Oh, yung yung tinutok sa akin talaga yan, I know how to dis, yung disable, I mean to yung remove the firearm from my face. Kaso hindi ko ginawa. Kasi may kabarin ako eh. Pero nag-bluff ako. So hindi niya pinutok. Pero ginawa niyang punching bag yung mukha ako nung baril niya. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, dang. Pero dang. Nag- nagtataka ako. Hindi ako bumagsak. Nakatayo pa rin ako. Tapos uh, Some people, the elders, you know, kinuha yung nakainom, tapos nilayo. So, yun yung, yun yung time na ako na-realize ko. Sa sobrang taas ng adrenaline rush ko, hindi ko alam na mayroon pala tumutubo dito. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ko napansin yun. Namamagana lang pagkatapos. Tapos, I mean, how many times, will, how many times, will, I mean, how many hits did you receive, bro? Tap, okay. Tapos with the tip or the butt of the gun? The butt of the, the side, gun, probably. The side lang, the side. The side oh, the side lang. lang. Uh, hindi ka bu- yun, eh. <laughs> Buti hindi ka binato ng bullets, pare. <laughs> Dang. So, uh, so uh, did you end up in the hospital? No, no, no. Wala. Uh, tinapilan Kaya nakita mo, ha? Pag ano, uh, pag, pag mga siga talaga, hindi nababasa ka mukha. <laughs> <laughs> pero narinig, narinig ko nag, nag ano narinig ko yung yung uh, yung yung tama ba la kasi kasi bakal yeah of course bakal eh. by then do you do you already know how to to you know do you already know any concept about guns when that happened oh none not, not none zero as in zero know, you, know, you know yung pag yung away kalsada di ba basta may yeah. maghahampas ka I know how to counter the attack. Kaso ito, this is a gun. So, maliit na yung galaw niya, patay ka. <laughs> patay ka, yeah. Pare, na, napansin mo ba, napansin mo ba kung yung finger niya nasa trigger? Nasa trigger eh. Nasa trigger, holy. Trigger, so, I said red, ready. <laughs> eh, talaga, you know, yung focus ko talagang nawala, yung, nag, nag, nag-blur lahat yung nasa paligid. Nakikita ko lang yung mismong barrel barrel yung, yung barrel, barrel mismo yes, yung oh. barrel <laughs> yung, <laughs> yung, barrel. yung barrel yung barrel ng barrel hindi lang hindi lang nakikita mo nakafocus ako doon na, wala na nagtunnel vision na yun di ba so wala na yeah. na yan so, tapos later on uh, that night na pag-isip-isip ko teka muna eh ano ba yun ba't ba maraming tao na natakot doon kasi syempre barrel nga yun pero yeah. instead of being afraid of guns yung inisip ko na I must know about that thing so after two yeah. days punta ako sa Makati Cinema Square there's a gun range there so nood yeah. nood lang ako tapos then oh, pwede pala bang rent sige rent ako so mamaya putok putok tinuturuan ako ng range officer sabi niya well, ganto ganto okay sige Uy, maganda pala tama ako siguro <laughs> next three months puro stationary shooting lang ang ginagawa ko stationary yeah so, tapos nagkaroon ng sale ng ano ng sa nagkaroon ng gansho nagkaroon ng sale pati bili nga ako nakabili na ako kasi ganoon pa rin nabor na ako sa makatuwi kasi yung mga yung ginagawa natin that torture hindi yeah, na yeah, yeah. trail doon eh hindi yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah how about some movement so i have friends who compete so sige sali ako gusto ko lang gusto ko lang gumay ka lang may movement uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Right left, diba? so may movement so sige sali naman ako yung first uh, shoot fest ko was a level 3. Level 3 shoot fest, that means that's around 16 courses of fire. So, uh-huh. amo gamit ko 300 rounds. 300 rounds, holy God. That's my first, ano, first competition. First competition, yeah. I was thinking I'll be ending up at the last part, pero swerte ko, nasa middle na ako, first time ko. Nasa middle wow! Ako, <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Dang! Yeah, so then, after that, 
sali ako sa competitions, nag-practice ako weekly. Uh, talagang I practice weekly. So sometimes twice a week. Naglalaro ako, maabot ako saan-saan sa Luzon para lang pumutok. Wow. And from pistol, ba, nakita ko yung isang kasama ko, nagsya-shotgun. Maganda ba yan? So, try ako. Ba, maganda rin yung tawa. Patry na. Bili rin ako ng shotgun. So, semi. So, bumibilis na ako sa semi. Sabi ko, kaya ko muna, may auto pala yan. Ay, may auto. You know what? You know what? Ito ha. Some guys buy an auto. Yung auto na shotgun, yung dire-diretso lang. Some buys the the pump. The, the pump, shotgun. yeah. yeah. Pero if you're practiced with yung pump lang, kasi bilis mo lang yung putok nung, nung semi-auto na, na shotgun. Kasi nagkaroon shotgun. kami ng uh, spades dun sa ating range. Eh. Nagkaroon kami ng man versus man. Uh-huh. Auto sa kanya, pump sa akin, eh, nauna pa ako. <laughs> nauna pa ako, maubos wow. yung bala. Ganun. Ganun lang, practice lang yan. Then, pamaya, nauso nung bandang year 2000, lumuwag yung rifles yung mga 223556 M4 yeah. na ano na rifles ba kami yung unang batch sa Pilipinas na nag kasi muno noon ng maglaro kasi marami kaming yeah. bibilan na somewhere under the table <laughs> <laughs> so, yun, so rifle naman tapos pumunta rin ako sa uh, LR so basically halos na ikot ko na lahat yung anything about firearms After competition, sabi ko, teka muna, medyo, I started at 25 years ago, so, syempre, hindi naman tayo bumabata, di ba? So, mag-defensive naman ako, mukhang maganda yung defensive, mga room clearing, room clearing. Mga kasama namin na mga military, sila nagtuturo sa amin. So, how to room clear by twos or kahit ikaw lang mag-isa. So, yan, tinguro sa amin yan. Mindsetting din. Mindsetting, by the way, is very important, no? Kasi, sa self-defense scenario, ang mangyayari talaga, ang tunay na mangyayari dyan is, is either you or he is dead, di ba? So, better sila na lang, na tayo, di ba? So, ganun correct, yung correct, correct. mindset mo. So, like me, for example, I'm very simple guy. Uh, pero pag pumasok sila sa domain ko, na tingin ko, eh, mapapahamak yung pamilya ko, eh, ibang usapan yun. Kasi alam na, alam, eh, alam nyo ba, sa bahay ko dito, nagpa-practice kami mag, ana, mag ano, may sans, no? Nagpa-practice kami paano, how to maneuver in uh, CQB, close quarters, no? Ginagawa namin, nice. lalo na nung time na last year, puro sa ano, hindi kami makalabas dahil nga sa COVID, di ba? Lahat ng kwarto, lahat ng floors dito, talagang iniisa namin, pati yung room clearing sa Adana, paakyat, ginagawa na yeah. parang nga kaming tanga, eh, pero pinapalood <laughs> naman namin, yeah. tapos, I also invested heavily on trainings. Pag may mga training dyan, sali ako, okay, babayad ako doon. So I learned yung mga style nila. Ano ba yung style noon, saka style ngayon, ng civilian, ano ba style ng military. Iba sila eh, iba yung style ng civilian sa military, no? For example, ang civilian, ang, uh, ang ginagawa niya, syempre, maingat siya, makatama sa mga, you know, tama ang bystanders or something. So, baka may kilala ka, mother-in-law mo pala yung lumitaw, barilin mo agad. <laughs> mother-in-law naman eh. <laughs> joke lang, joke lang. Kaya ito yung mother-in-law ko, alam ako. Alam ko, alam ko, alam ko. Joke lang, joke lang. <laughs> Military style, talagang bubuhusan nila ng bahala yan. Wala silang pakialam. Basta ang objective nila, clear the area, clear kung may hostage o wala. Hindi naman nila alam eh. Lahat tinitreat nila as bad guys. So, ganun Correct. ang sistema ng military uh, CQB versus civilian. So, I guess may idea ako sa kanila. May idea rin ako sa civilian. From what I think is best for me, yun ang kinocombine ko. Gaya ng turo ni, ni Kuya Paul. <laughs> yep. Okay. Tuloy ko na nga. Medyo nice. na-excite ako eh. <laughs> sige, sige. Tuloy-tuloy na. Tuloy-tuloy. So, so okay. So yan, marunong na nga ako. Hindi naman ako magaling, pero marunong ako sa sa pistols, sa any type of firearms. Yung ibang mga police na uh, sa local government like for example Pasay, we teach them yung proper handling kasi before marami sa kanilang during operation, marami sa kanilang nasasaksak. So, so hindi nila mailabas yung weapon nila 
by the time na nailabas, na draw nila yung gun nila, meron na silang butas. No? Kasi yung style ng knife fighting sa Pilipinas, lalo na yung mga common criminal, hindi mo alam kung kailan ilalabas yung knife until nakatusok na sa'yo. Nakatusok na sa'yo, yep. Nakatusok. So they're not even using yep. knives. They're using two barbecue sticks. Yeah. <laughs> pens. Oh. Anything na sharp yung dulo, they can use that. For example, yung may dati may pulis dun sa may uh, end sa baklaran, meron silang kinwestiyon na mga nasa vend, uh, fishball vendors, di ba? Yung stick, dalawang stick ang kinuha, kunyari yung nag-ano, kumakain ng uh, squid ball. Squid, Tapos, yeah. Tusok sa pulis. Holy cow. Ganun. So, yung, Dang. Iba sila dito, I guess sa Amerika, talagang magaganda knife nila, di ba? Dito, it's a different story. Kung, good siya, di ba? Uh, GP yeah. no, tut- ano, yung barbecue stick, itutusok sa tao. O ilang pulis na tinamaan noon. Yep. Barbecue so, stick. Now, so, Dang. ang sabi ko kay Paul, Paul, what can we do, no? How, how can we you uh, create uh, some time or some distance, to create some distance, basically, for us to enable to draw our weapon before being uh, yung bago masaksa kami, di ba? So, kasi naging yeah. problem, Remember, Eric, kasi naging problema dun sa mga gun shooters din is yung lumabas na 21 feet rule. Yeah, oo. Maraming mga gun shooters na takot on that range. Ang, la- ang layo kaya nun. Haba nung range na yun. Malayo, no? pero kaya kang saksaki nun. Correct. Malayo. Yeah. So go ahead, yeah. Eric. Uh, I'll let you finish the story. I just want to ma- uh, mention that. Hello? Nawala yan. Ayun, okay. Wait. So... Eh dito, masikip yung area dito sa Pilipinas. So it's basically bad breath length. <laughs> so that's uh, one meter length ang lapit. So may, do you still have time to react pag ganun? So thanks to Paul, nasolusyonan niya yung paano how to create distance. No? Hindi mo basta bubunutan. Uh, kasi andyan eh, di ba? Matagal pa, it will take you two seconds bago mo bunutin. So, yep, yep. in two seconds, ang dami nang nangyari yun. Baka may apat na saksa ka na nun. So, yun ang concern. Ako, basically, concern ko. Pag nasa labas ako, bawa, may, may dala akong barel. May mga hold up sa akin. Pag in-hold up ka, nakadikit na sa'yo. Eh. Yung ano, yung kutsiso eh. Di ba? It's a matter of putty pressure. Tusok ka na. Diba? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, yun. They really get close. Na-create niya yung sistema na na we can do as a gun owner. Pag na-conceal carry holder, to create distance and uh, buy us time. Yun. Kaya yan, he's the man. <laughs> he's the man. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi naman. I mean, uh, actually, uh, lumapit sa akin si Eric, you know, uh, at first, iniisip ko, regular uh, Filipino martial arts knife training lang ipapakita ko. But then, na-realize ko, nakita ko sila lahat talaga, naka-conceal weapon sila. Sabi ko, Actually, it helped na merong isa pang nagturo. Ah, kasi siya na una. That made me realize na hihirapan yung maghihirapan ng mga gun owners to pull yung primary weapon. Yeah. Kaya sabi ko, teka muna babaguhin ko yung turo. Hindi po pwede to. Then yeah. the creation happened. All right? So thanks to Eric actually. So yeah, actually <laughs> yung program na yun bro uh, just wanna let you know dinala ko read sa US Pina, uh, we teach them here now uh, June actually knows the program uh, yeah, okay, so, yeah. <laughs> it's the one it's the one that's with, with the uh, knife program um, the knife program like, yeah Eric you, uh, quick question how long was the time na the event na tinutukan ka ng barrel to you going through all the training and basically oh actually you know how, how long was that from today That was 25 years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's, yeah. Pero yung the day, the day after, talagang yung curiosity ko about guns nagsimula na. So the next day after that incident, ba, tag, ano na ako, na, tanong-tanong na ako. <laughs> Actually, Eric, bag, I mean, in, in bis na biging anti-gun ka, naging pro-gun, that's amazing because most people will go to the other side. Yeah, some of them are. But sa akin kasi, I'm, I got curious eh. Diba? So, yeah, sa akin, yeah. you know, yung, uh, for me, 
bakit ako manatak? Kasi yung fear is basically you don't have any knowledge about it. Pero once you know, you have knowledge, yung fear mawawala eh. Diba? Yeah. So, curious, now that you've gotten all this training and uh, have a little bit more awareness and understanding, thinking back sa moment na yon, is there a different way that you think it would play out or you would play it out? Uh, for sure, di na ako masasampal ng parin. <laughs> <laughs> Saka kung kunin ko ng tao, you know, I can disarm him the right way. <laughs> Pare, mag-asawang uh, sampal ba ginabot mo? Hindi <laughs> napansin, pero parang isang sighting na mamaga eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Well, that's, so, that's, uh, that really, what a, what a game changer so, like, uh, that led you down a path. Yeah. Um, How about si Mrs.? Ano nangyari kay Mrs., bro? Yeah, where was she during that confrontation? Uh, she was there with, beside me. So, syempre, you know, women, they, they talk a lot, you know. So, hindi ko na napapansin kasi parang music na sa akin yung boses niya. <laughs> <laughs> music for your ears na. Yeah, yeah. Pero you know what? You know what, ha? Funny, pero totoo to. When I started with the firearm, siya rin sabay kami. Pinili ko din siya. Tapos, wow. Yung, parang before nung first uh, competition ko, may mga fan shots ako sinalihan. Magkasama kami. Ay, lintek siya pa nanalo. Kasi yung, yung dexterity ng babae, di ba? Mas uh, hindi sila tulad ng lalaki, maggalaw eh. Sila ano eh. Asentado. Sila eh, oh. So after yeah, that, yung nanalo siya, binenta ko na yung baril niya. Kasi nakapagdapit sa akin. That's not fair. Hindi ka na sasama sa competition. <laughs> Sabi niya, maingin dito I'm... sa rage. <laughs> So now so, being so now being that you you're I mean uh, a little bit more about yourself now I mean in terms of your involvement with firearms I mean that was a that was a pivotal moment na shifted your attention and awareness to it now your role in the firearm community Well uh, they know I teach uh, people yung uh, basic marksmanship saka yung uh, laws Fire, Philippine uh, firearm laws. So, tinuturo namin yun. Saka gun safety, right? Yeah, kasama, kasama na yun. Kasama na yun. More civilian based or more uh, law enforcement based or both? Uh, both. Basically both. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So actually, uh, kahit na ako ex-military, I didn't have proper gun training. Actually, I approached Eric and I actually asked Eric to teach me. Siya actually ang nag, when I want to go back into firearms, I told Eric to teach me as if I don't know anything. Bro, ang agigpit ni Eric, magturuan. Uh, uh, do you still remember what you did? Ano nga rin? Share naman. Well, he wants, go ahead, Eric. You, 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 you tell yeah, the yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Uh, ano yan, madaya si Eric, bro. Tuturo ka ng dry fire tapos sisingitan niya ng bala. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you don't know, you're, you're dry firing. Sabi niya, pakita ng baril. Then you'll put a, uh, uh, an ammo in there. And then you Dang. don't know. You just want to see if I'm going to flinch. Yeah. So you see, diba? Pag you're not anticipating the recoil, maganda ang tama mo. Yeah. Diba? But we can, Actually, the common problem eh. Yeah. yeah. The common problem with newbies they anticipate the recoil. So before yeah. the gun uh, fires, gumagalaw na sila. So wala na yung yeah. time yeah. nila doon yeah. sa ano, area. Yun. Actually, Eric also taught, uh, helped me teach uh, uh, Henry and Anthony, the two of them, when the, the first time they shot. So, then. So, yeah, they went there. Yeah, they were there. Um, they were actually nice. so happy that uh, me and Eric was there. Kasi yung mga kinuturo namin sa kanila. Remember Eric, may isang, may dalaw, I think three guys came in na oh. they wanna gusto, gusto nila sumingit. So sabi ni Eric, pabiyama na sila, mauna na sila. So the, the two, the four of us sat down and watched. Eh si Eric, lecture lang ng gun safety. Lahat nung gun safety, binayulate nung mga yeah, <laughs> the shooters. Everybody was like, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. So Eric goes, yep, 
perfect perfect way to learn. <laughs> Dang. That's, yeah, uh, awesome experience. Now, what about um, tell us the uh, the time you met Zach? Cause Zach ended up uh, over there. How was that? How was that um, trip yeah, or encounter? Well, he had a great experience for sure. <laughs> yeah, because he's uh, a firearm fanatic. Uh, well, we, uh, in our club, a uh, spades club, we have a, in our headquarters, we have a small private range there. So they practice there. Then afterwards, no, the common practice, we practice. Then we go for fellowship. Sometimes the fellowship is just around the office. We just uh, get a couple of uh, pulutan and uh, whiskey or beer. But Zach was lucky because he was uh, he was able to taste something far more better. <laughs> diba? <laughs> well, he experienced a uh, Filipino way of uh, learning to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Gun there it is. Yeah. For all those that know, know Zach is a uh, part of our um uh our basically our student and compadre here in South Florida too. Uh that got to go on a trip with Kuya Paul uh over to the Philippines and do an FMA tour and basically visit with uh Eric and his team as well. So that was a pretty great experience which I wasn't a part of unfortunately, but uh I'm hoping to make it up Sometime at some point, dito makapuano makauwi ng Pilipinas and join everybody. Yeah. So, well, you gotta pass the test. Uh, yeah. Eric, and, 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 yeah. And by the way, I don't, if you guys notice, <laughs> yeah, if you guys notice, uh, uh, Kuya Paul here has a spade shirt. Spade shirt. And, <laughs> and uh, Zach actually has one too. And if you look at mine, I don't have anything because uh, I still have to go to this. Time. I have to go and to the new uh, outlet or or testing or baka hazing lang to ah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, there's that component there. But um but yeah, I mean I'm I'm definitely looking forward to making it down there tapos maka yeah, ano, tama, tama, tama. Very good, very good. Yan. Yeah. So, so uh Good. Uh, a story about how did you get uh, get into the Spades uh, organization or club? Actually, yeah, to maybe share a little bit what Spades is first, and then and then tell us you know tell us about the organization, and then share your your journey into it. Yeah. Well, uh, Spades came about sometime 2009, I think. Uh, we're a group of friends who love shooting, and we also like drinking <laughs> so and most of them are coming from the south of metro manila you know here here in manila the traffic you know is very bad so if you're going to have a group of friends it's better to have friends within the same area so we're yep. mostly from the southern part of metro manila and we hang out uh, uh, our friend cassie has a, a an office which is a big office. There's a bar. There's a studio. The music room. Right below. Music room. Yeah. And there's a, a bar complete with uh, whiskey and uh, <laughs> <the> beer. <laughs> Kakamis, pare. Nakakamis. I, I miss. I, I miss. And all the I miss you guys. All around. <laughs> <laughs> We're enjoying, basically. We meet uh, every weekend. You know, sometimes we don't shoot anymore. We just... Have Drink. fellowship. Fellowship. <laughs> fellowship is the right word. <laughs> yeah. So, ready? so what are the go? Uh, what are the activities that uh, that you guys do in spades that help the community? Last year we didn't do anything because of the situation, but before that, right, uh, we partnered with the local local Pasay police for their retraining. You know? So most of their <clears throat> Uh, the policemen there, they, they need to retrain for them to have uh, one step, rank, rank one step higher. You know? So we do basic training, basic marksmanship, and you know, some of them pass, some of them, my good eye. But there are big cops, no? some, are big cops so, but some they of are them not have... safety conscious. No? That's the yeah. problem with them. They flag their guns. They don't know how to handle their guns. So, that's a big problem. They're police people. 
Yep, yep. By the way, uh, Mr. Henry of Karate Garage <laughs> just uh, rolled on in. Hello, uh, Sorry, okay, hello, hello, kayo, so, hello, 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 muna. <laughs> hello, 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 Oh, did I talk to you? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Lang, yeah. Well, well, now that Henry's on board, lang, you said uh, Henry joined you guys at the range too at some point, diba? Yep, yep. Oh. Actually, late din si Henry noon eh. Wag nang buo siya. Lagi ato. Puro lang. Eh, magkaroon na ako dito ah. Aso! Kaso malayo nga lang yung pinanggalingan ni, ano, ni Henry. Oh, malayo. Ano, that's malayo. Yeah. So, in- in, in, in fairness, may, in fairness, yeah. may ano. May Tama choose. traffic. No, but uh, I assume, Henry, you had uh, you had previous experience with firearms though before, going before, before this. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, ano lang, siguro nakapaputok ako ng informally ng barrel, siguro mga, siguro less than 10 times. Uh, and so, and then how was... had the formal experience. And how was it? How was the experience? Tell us about the experience with uh, with Spades and Mr. Eric Acosta over here. How was that? Una, how was that encounter and experience? Una, una, very thankful ako kasi very accommodating sila. In fact, nga, biniyara ni ano, lahat ng bahala eh. Wala akong gastos eh. So thank you, ha? thank you very much, Eric. Uh, <laughs> asin na lang eh. Uh, at saka, no, malaki yung difference nung ano eh, yung... Sinabi ko nga kay kay Antoken, ang laki ng difference nung nung teka, ito, 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 ito. Ang laki ng difference nung na ano ka, yung nanonood ka nung pagbata ka nanonood ka sa TV, di ba? Dami yeah, misinformation yeah. na nakukuha mo. So ah, yeah. so ibang iba pala yung ano actual training ng barrel. And ang laki ng ano emphasis on safety. Yeah, safety. Kasi yung mga informal na mga baril na ginawa ko, syempre mga barkada. Kahit naman ako may baril eh. Before ah, before. Yeah. Dahil sa dad ko. As in literally, tinuruan din ako ng dad ko yung four, nen? yung four ano? Four rules. Four rules. Four rules. Nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> pero, pero ano, iba kasi yung ano eh, iba yung revolver, iba yung ano, iba yung first time ako nag-shoot ng pistol. Hmm. Sa so, simula, very ano yung ano, safety, very parang I need to drill it in my head. Kasi ang automatic sa akin, ang hindi tinuro ng daddy ko is wag yung trigger out of the finger. Yeah. Kaya ako gusto ko parang gusto ko pumatay agad. Di ba? Parati ako, up, up, up. Parati yung talaga lang doon sa trigger. Eh. Saka di ba, bro? bro. Henry, uh, oh, kita oh. mo naman nung bumabaril kayo, either Eric mm-hmm. will be there looking uh, behind you or beside yeah. you. Yeah. Or ako. Lagi hindi, hindi namin kayo pinababayaan kasi yes. it's your first time shooting. Yes. Yeah. Saka nandaan mo yung tatlong, tatlong lalaki na nag-shoot na nagpahinga tayo. <laughs> Lahat ng violation ginawa nila. Tino mo sa akin. Tino mo yan. Tino mo yan. Eric, yeah, so Eric, so, ano, Jan, so now, you know, with, with the programs that you guys have in place, if an average citizen, Jan Sapipinas, wants, is interested in checking it out or maybe getting to firearms and getting the proper training, how, uh, what's, what, what's your recommendations? Kung ano, you know, how do they go about it? Well, uh, I guess right now, I'll tell them to read the law first. Because if you want to learn the uh, and own a gun, it's, there's a responsibility also, you know, the legal responsibility. And mm. you know, if you don't, if you don't renew your licenses, and then you know you bring your gun outside of your residence without the proper documents, you'll get jailed, and that's for 20 years. You know? So first of all, you must tell yourself, okay, I want a gun to defend my family, but I want to know the law. So, yun, lagi kong sasama yung batas saka yung, yung procedure sa owning a gun. So, Eric, what's LTAP? Can you 
talk about that a little bit? Uh, LTAP license to own and possess a firearm. That's a license for the person to own a gun. Can you buy, can you carry a gun already with that license? No, you cannot. You have to have another license. It's a permit to carry firearm outside the residence. So the first license is just to what? To establish that the you person. know the laws? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, that's right. Uh, you know the laws. You know, you pass the neuro exam and the drug test. And you have uh -huh. no pending criminal record on file at that moment. <laughs> Ayun. So LTAP is two years. Uh, validity is two years. But uh, fortunately, yung nagkaroon ng... Uh, nagkaroon ng hearing sa Senate, ando kami, na-approve na na five years. Pero Approve na ba yan, Eric? Five years na, implemented na? Ay, alam ko, napirmahan na ni President. Eh. So, yes. eventually, magpa five years na yan. So, Mag-expire sa akin this year. Mag-expire. Magkakuha mo, next time, malamang five years na. Five years, good, 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 good. As aside from LTAP, that's the license for yourself, you need to get a license for every firearm that you have. Every so firearm? Oh yeah, every firearm. What? So, <clears throat> wow. You can't just that's wow. A of, that's a lot of license. That's right. It's like it's like having a family. You have so many kids. That's a, that's a lot of license for each kid. <laughs> Not my <Yeah>. birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> and that license validity is four years. Gagawin in five years. Okay. Gagawin in five years. So oh, you have yeah. to renew them too. Yung mga firearms. Yeah. Wow. Um, and love. Ang uh, concept doon, if nag-expire ang LTAP mo, automatic lahat ng uh, firearm registration mo expired. Ano rin, yung expired. So wow. dapat lagi ng ano, lagi kang updated. So besides the two license, may may iba may iba pa bang license? There's also a license for you if you want to carry your firearm outside the residence. That's PTC, yung yung isang separate license noon. That is valid for one year. Sa bagong uh, na pa-approve naman sa Senate, gagawin two years na. Two years. Lang, so the first license that you were referring to was just to have it in your house? Yes. For self-protection, you need yeah, licenses you, yeah, you for all your firearms for just to Another have it in your license? house? No, 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 no. Yeah, the first license, it just allows you to buy a gun, basically. Yeah. Then the, next the second license, license is for the gun. Every gun. For the gun. All guns. <laughs> All guns, the second one. Per the gun, third per one, gun. per gun. The third one is to carry it. To carry it out. Per so gun. Per gun yeah. din yun. Dang. Per gun din yun. Yes, per yung gun per to, per, to, to carry. Per to carry, yeah. Ano yun, Mas per gun din? Dito, yeah, per, per, gun. per gun. Holy crap. Alam mo, parang ano, no? parang so redundant yung mayon ka ng permi ah, yung license. Tapos each gun license. Dapat eh, registration na lang yung second eh. Eh, oh, okay. <laughs> tera pera kasi yan eh. Tera pera. <laughs> Correct ka doon. <laughs> Magna-knife na lang ako. Magbibitpit na lang akong knife. Ano ba ang oh, knife law dyan? Teka lang. Ano, uh, yeah, what's the knife law? There's a knife law sometime 1970s and it wasn't amended pa. No? Yung knife law is it should be uh, if your knife is more than 2 inches blade length eh, considered as you know, deadly weapon and you cannot carry it unless you use it for your trade. Like, for example, you are a chef. You have a set of knife knife kit, di ba? But that oh. still have to be that still have to be registered sa farm, firearms yeah. bureau. <laughs> so, pag nahuli ka, sabihin mo, ang trabaho mo is, ano, magnanakaw. <laughs> Mabawas-bawasan yung, ano, yung, yung sintensya sa'yo. <laughs> no, no, ba, 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 I need to register this. <laughs> Sir, ano ako, hold up eh. Kaya kailangan ko na sa pinyo. Kailangan ko na pala ng blade. <laughs> which one has a, which one has a lower, uh, lower sentence? Being a, being a hold upper or ano or carrying a blade <laughs> so eric on a serious side diba yeah. so you have to apply to get uh l tap first am i right that's right so after that pwede na tayo magpunta ng i just want to uh, cover it again we can go to the gun store and look for the gun that we want correct then you show your l tap show your l tap okay. i'm qualified to buy oh. Correct. 
So mm-hmm. after you buy, they were gonna you're, you're gonna get another license called what? With the, the registration, the dealer will give you the will process the registration for you. Okay. So ngayon may baril na ako. I want to carry it outside my house. Anong process naman yun? Well, there are two ways. The one is the legal way, which I will teach you. The other is the <laughs> illegal way that I don't recommend. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to go the legal way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, the uh, legal it, way, uh, Eric? Ito, ah, makikita mo yung redundancy dito. Ah. So, if you want to have your firearm to, to apply for a permit to carry, you go to Krame, you bring your LTAP, you bring your... your uh, license registration then you need to present a threat assessment so a threat that's assessment yeah, that's yeah. Like, wow and that you have to get from your local police where you live so uh-huh. there must be something no some uh, let's say well if you're married then you have a valid threat assessment <laughs> joking, joking. 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 You must present, you know, how to get a threat assessment. You must have an affidavit that someone is out there to kill you. So, talaga? Like so, oh. ordinary businessman ka. Okay, di, there di are pwede. exceptions, however, no, may exceptions. For example, if you're a businessman, an engineer, a cashier, something, meron sa loss niya, nakasulat yung mga exemptions. What type of job, yeah. Oh, kung, kung talagang risky yung trabaho mo, they, you don't need a threat assessment. Pag businessman wow. ka naman, pasok naman ako dun eh. So, wala akong threat assessment. Saka ako kasi, I got my permits before the new law arrived. So, re, ano, renew lang ako ng renew. Good, okay. good, 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 good. So, Then after that, that yeah. oh, okay, ahead, uh, once you get it. all three, so now I can carry my gun, right? Yeah, you can carry your gun. Now, in the Philippines, how can I carry my gun? Baluti ko na okay. newspaper, kagaya ng kuchilyo. <laughs> the the uh, permit to carry ID, at the back there are instructions. The instructions okay. say it must be encased. Before, it was it was said it must be out of public view, but now they rephrased it and made it it must be concealed in a bag. <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> ano yan, by the time na bunot mo, siguro limang bala na yung tumama sa'yo. So, dati, pwede ay inside waistband eh. So, wala. It's a matter of getting used. You you have to practice from draw from the bag. So, yun ka rin lang. Yung, and, and also, when you get a bag, don't buy those uh, tactical bags na obvious na obvious. No? Sometimes yeah. I, you know what? Sometimes I carry my gun inside a paper bag. You know, yung mga shopping, uh, shopping bags. Yun lang, dala ko lang ganun. Para hindi talaga, hindi na pinapansin. Pero once you have a, yung mga tactical bag, di ba? Then the security guards know that there's something inside. Yeah. So, yeah. Bag. yeah. And then, and then, well, that's Pinoy you're... style. Am I right? Teka muna. Uh, sorry, sorry, yeah. June. But ito main difference kadalasan na nakikita ko from here in the US saka sa Philippines. Philippines here are ma, ano, medyo, we know how to hide them na common you know kagaya ng mga kutsilyo binabalot lang sa jaryo you know they, they, there's no sheet <laughs> you know hindi fancy yung mga case you know oh, go ahead june yeah now yung yung when carrying on person you know in your in your bag are you allowed to have one in the chamber or no nothing in the chamber uh, it's your preference but i i i, I carry mine with the uh, uh, chamber loaded yeah Okay. I was just kind of curious if there was a, a, a variation of, of a regulation done. June, do you okay. carry one in the chamber? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes yes, sometimes no. <laughs> yeah. Paano yan? Hindi ka consistent. I can carry more to yes, there's one in the chamber. Oh, Eric, yeah. ah, yan, nakita mo, hindi consistent, oh. Mahirap yun. Hindi mo. Mahirap yun, magkakamali ka. Well, I mean, the thing is, And that's 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 the thing you really got to have confidence in your holster. That's what I was told. It's like you can't just get any holster if you're going to carry one in the chamber. You have to be, you have to you know, kind of uh, be a little bit more uh, trusting of your holster. But uh, nakalusot, Eric. Nakalusot, nakalusot si June. <laughs> but, uh, but I will say, ever since uh, several conversations before, yeah, I, I've been more consistent about having one in the chamber. 
<laughs> but I wanted before. <laughs> Yung having one in the chamber, dito sa Pilipinas, depende on the situation. If you're going outside in unfamiliar territories, then you have to put one. That. You have yeah. put one. Pero if it's yeah. a normal place naman na pinupuntan mo, there's no threat, there's no, you know, in your in your previous uh, time na pumunta ka doon, walang, there's no imminent danger, yeah. you have to be relaxed. Okay lang, di ba? Sabi, I don't, ngayon na, hindi na ako nagdadala ng gun sa bag ko eh. Kasi nasabay lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> Pare, enjoy yung threat, di ba sabi mo? Takosa, takosa rin pala si Eric, takosa. Takosa, United. So, uh, outside of, of the rules and regulations sa, ano, sa firearm carry dyan sa Pilipinas, um, what are some interesting tidbits on uh, situational awareness? Mga ganon. You know, or, okay. or fundamental. Mga, yeah. For Share naman. Know, yung, yung when, I, when we talk about situational awareness, hindi yan one time na makukuha mo. Eh. It's a collection of yung uh, experiences in the past. For example, mm-hmm. Uh, if I go to the mall, na, na, ano, nasanay na akong I, I have to know all the exits. So from where's the nearest fire escape? Where's the nearest exit? Where's the nearest uh, security office? O first aid area? Yeah. Lagi ko yun. Ewan ko, nasanay lang ako dun. Tapos uh, when I go, let's say, for, for example, sa mga bars, uh, maingat rin ako. Every time na may nakikita akong mga nagiinom at lasing na at medyo may bukol, makikita ko naman may dala, di ba? Iwas na lang. Yeah. Best, Iwas na lang. The, the best thing talaga to avoid those things, eh, huwag ka nang pumunta doon pag may kutob ka. No? It's like, kutob, iwas na lang. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to, ano, di ba, walang, walang, nothing will befall on you kung iiwas ka, eh, di ba? That's yep. the best way to do it. Now, you think, Eric, because yung mga sinasabi mo, iwas to be, to look at, you know, uh, areas where you can exit and whatnot, you think that develop yet because of owning a gun? I did. Even before I was young, talagang nasanay na ako dyan. Pati let's say, position ko pag pumasok sa restaurant where I sit, I want to be placed in an area na may magkagulo doon, di ako tatama ng bote. Di ako tatama ng bote. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to see the view, no? Alam ko kung saan sila nagdadaanan, you know? Yes. Nasa bata pa ako, medyo ano na ako doon, napansin ko na yun eh. Observe, observant. You have to be observant. Yeah. So let's say, let, let's just say, Eric, okay, a foreigner, a friend of us, let's say another Zach come, I, we bring. I know, give, give us a three suggestions on being safe in the Philippines. Either being attacked by a gun or a knife. Three things that they should uh, be, you know, na kumbaga, uh, caution, give them caution. Well, if you're, if it's his first time here, you know, he has to be mindful of the culture ng Pilipino. Diba? Yes. Kasi ang uh, foreigners, they're different from us. They're too open. You know? They're very vocal. Tayo, tahimik tayo, pero mamaya, kakagating ka na pala. Parang even some kind yeah. of uh, introduction before they come here. Di ba? Yeah. Tapos, uh, also, you know, yung be with people na hindi hindi ganun ka uh, mayayabang, for example, hindi ganun, kasi lapitan niya ng ano eh, ng gulo eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, one uh, more, one more. Uh, so, so, you know, going... Wait, wait, wait uh, you got one more. Two, two pa lang yun eh. Ah, two pa lang. Isa pa. Two more, two more, yeah. One so, more. Be with, be with good people like us. You know, you know, <laughs> Baka mapaabay na lo yun. <laughs> Mabait naman tayo eh. Mabait naman tayo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dapat alamin nila yung mga, it's like in any place naman eh. Dapat alamin nyo kung, tanongin nyo sa local kung saan madugulo at saan hindi. It's like Tama. in any place naman. Correcto. Yeah. Go ahead, Jun. Yeah. So, um, you know, my curiosity is kasi, you know, when I when I used to travel just to Pilipinas, you know, for business and or even vacation, I'm gonna is like, okay, I need to have something for, you know, my my carry. 
now I'm realizing that I needed a license for this knife, that gun or something. So if I'm not able to, you know, what are some recommendations for somebody who doesn't have a license or doesn't, uh, um, you know, have these things available to them legally um, without being seriously in trouble? I mean, what are some, some uh, protection uh, options? You can hire Eric as a bodyguard. Yeah. <laughs> you must have friends who ask those things. <laughs> Hang with them. <laughs> no, 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 that's serious though. I mean, in all seriousness, alam ko na, you know, when my mom goes and depended to where she goes, it's like my kasama siya and, you know, those tend to have the ones that have all the requirements. But me personally, I'm like, I don't know where I'm going and stuff and whatnot. And just for my own everyday carry that I'm so used to when I go travel, it's like I, I, I always try to have a little something, I, you know, something. So I'm curious what your, what your thoughts are of others that are coming into the country who want to try to do everyday carry, but they have to go through these, these you know, they don't have the licenses. So what are their possible options? Well, you know, to tell you frankly, you are a martial arts practitioner. You don't need a gun, you don't need a knife, you need a pen, you need a keychain. You know, I have a keychain with it that looks like a... Dulo know, sa dulo. A, yeah, something pointed there. I just yeah. bring it in my pocket, no? just in case. Yep. If someone, you know, tries to mug me, I have something to hit them with. <laughs> yeah, so, actually, you know, actually, I do have a, a specific tactical pen. I yeah, mean, it's a real yeah, pen. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> I have one too. <laughs> yeah, like, I know. But but then that, I guess that that you know now that you mentioned dulo sedulo people I mean that's actually a great opportunity for everybody that comes in to really un, you know appreciate more the dulo sedulo just the Philippines for I mean it's, it doesn't look like a tech, a tech weapon I mean it's not a tacky cool weapon actually dulo yeah. sedulo you can get away with it almost anything in the it's made by yeah. made of hard wood but if you know yeah. how to use it it's very effective actually. I think one time I showed that to the team, right? The, the, oh, yeah. the, the, I, I just used a pen. I said, this can be a dulo sa dulo. Yeah. 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 Actually, walang, walang pipigil sa'yo dito. Punta ka kahit sa mall. Bili ka lang, alam mo yung bag ng artistic. Maglagay ka lang actual yan to. Walang hihinto sa'yo. Kasi no, actually, no. actually, 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 oh. Henry, uh, wrong ka dyan. Oh. Hinihinto ka. Nahinto ka na. Nahinto ka na. Marami. Nahinto ako madalas. Talaga? Yeah. Kasi P.E. yan eh. P.E. yan eh. P.E. yan eh. Takot sila. Pag student, pwede siguro. Pag student. Madami mga kutsilyo kasama yun sa ano mo, sa anistik mo. Baka naman tinitinan lang kung anong laman. Hindi bro. They either, you have to leave it to the guard. They know the use of it. Basically. Oh, well, okay lang yun. At least nasa loob ka na ng mall, di ba? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pero sa labas, walang hinto sa'yo. Wala, walang hinto sa'yo. But mas gusto ko dulo sa dulo kasi maliit. Mm. You know? Yeah. Pwede mong, you know, uh, yeah. So, so Eric. Kakatawa, uh, kakatawa naman, sorry, uh, kakatawa naman mga guard dito eh. Hihinto yung canoe stick, pero yung barrel at saka ganada, hindi nila mahanap yan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, may incident, uh, <laughs> Paso ako ng video, uh, kagagawa ko lang ng knife ko kay Pabu, so I wanna display the the blade that I made. So nilagay ko sa bag ko nakaganto dito. You know? Paso ako ng video, ginawa ko, tinago ko. Siguro pinapaso ko sa video for probably a good two weeks na, wala nakakapansin. Until I went to one branch. Yung guard doon, uh, marunong. Actually, he walked and he stood beside me. Hindi siya, alam mo, ito maganda rito sa Pilipinas. Ha? Alam nilang may dala akong knife. Nakatago. Kasi pag ginanong ko yung kilikili ko, sar- nakatago yung knife. Hindi makikita. But tong, tong guard na to, magaling ano, tumingin. Nakita ko tinitingnan yung knife ko. Sabi nung ni Utol si Ray, Kuya, Mukhang itong guard na to magaling ha, napansin yung knife mo. Hindi na ta- tinutukan na tayo, hindi na tayo. Ang maganda ron is they didn't make a big scene. Kasi kung sa ibang location yun, they make a big deal out of it. Uh, and they are not get kicked out of the video. But pinabayaan lang nila, they know I, I, I'm not doing any harm. I got my deposit or whatever. Hindi ko na alam kung ano yung transaction ko. 
Tapos pinakawalan ako. So Eric, what do you, what do you think about um, guns and knives? Or do they need to be together when you're doing a daily carry? Yes, of course. They complement each other. Diba? Especially the Pabu made knife. Yes. <laughs> Pistol grip. Pistol grip. <laughs> so uh, let me ask you something. So now... Uh, kasi ang law, di ba, is uh, for the gun, it needs to be on the bag. So let's say you have the knife. Where do you have your knife? May pocket. May pocket. May pocket lang. Uh, are you carrying a folding knife or a fixed blade? Folding. Folding. Hmm. Sometimes a pair of folding in the front and at the back. Hmm. Hindi mo nilalabas yung, yung pabo knife, ha? Talagang ginawa mo ng collection. <laughs> may number. Eh. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, yeah. Anthony, ikaw. May carry ka? May everyday carry ka? Bolton. <laughs> pero meron ako, meron, meron ako nga, no, dulo-dulo. Pero, bihira ko lang din dalit. Pero, yun yeah. yun lang. How was your experience the first time you were shooting? You you shot with us, uh, Anthony. Anthony. Uh, uh, yeah, si Anthony. Yeah. Oh. On Anong time si Anthony. Hindi ka ni Henry. Ano ba? 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 Ano Lahat ng word kailangan mong pakinggan ah. para ano eh, safety. Ta yun nga mahalaga yung naituro sa amin kasi kahit kahit mga diba, toy gun malaking bagay na yun para sa practice ng ng proper handling ng gun. Hmm. So basically yun, doon muna kami tinuruan yung experience ko noon. Tinuruan muna kami talaga yung toy gun siya pero ano siya yung yung weight niya medyo malapit sa sa real gun. Tapos yung size niya, ganun din. So, doon muna kami nagsimula. So, masarap, masarap ang pakiramdam habang nag, una ka nag-aaral. Kasi dapat talaga proper yung muna yung orientation mo para ibang baril eh. Isang pagkakamali, buhay ang ano eh. Mm-hmm. Um, buhay ang ano eh. So, yeah. Hindi mo na mababalik yun. Oo. <laughs> oh, hindi mo na may babalik yun. Compared sa pag nasugatan ka, nabukulan ka. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Remember that man. Oh. At saka isang isang bagay din na nakita ko nga doon, yung experience namin noong nag-shooting kami. May first aid sila. Dapat hindi, bukod sa baril na dala mo, wala ka rin na para talagang first aid. Yeah. Diba? Yung Good baril point. lang ng baril lang ng tapos pag ano. Yeah. Tatawag ka sa ano, oh, may, may nabaril dito. May nabaril. <laughs> so, at least kung may first aid ka, <laughs> may ma- first aid na. ka, may, may pang ano muna. O, oh, di ba? So, yun. Ma- mahalaga na may first aid sa, sa mga shooting range para at least may immediate ano. Kasi di naman dadating agad ang ambulansya eh. Tama, diba? tama. So, yun lang. Saka Eric, mga remember. Na, Saka remember Eric, nung actually... Nung tinuturuan natin si Anthony, kasi nauna si Anthony, eh, di ba? may safety pa tayo eh. Oh, ganito gagawin mo pag may nabaril, tatawag ka, ganyan, ganito sasabihin oh, yeah. mo. Yeah, that's very Mas, important. Yeah. Yeah, uh, ulitin ko lang yun. Ha. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, I, Eric. I, I carry yung uh, first aid kit. Kasi syempre, ang purpose ko naman is to disable lang. Hindi naman to kill yung person na papasok sa akin. So of course, pag na-disable ko na siya, natanggal ko na yung weapon niya, syempre, gusto kong mabuhay siya. Di ba? So I have... I have a set of uh, uh, first aid kit para i-apply sa kanya. Nangyayon, kung matigas talaga ulit, nalagyan ko siya ng torne kay sa liig. Diba? Pero at least, dumating na yung abulaan siya lahat, nakita nila na nag-effort ka na to revive the person. Yeah, so, yeah. Hindi, hindi mo, hindi homicide ang kaso mo. Diba? So actually, binubuhay mo eh. That's very important. Kasi, di ba, may marami tayo nakikita sa news na nagbari lang kasama yung pulis ang ginagawa ng kadalasan ng mga pulis nanunood na lang afterwards but civilian with proper training they actually want try to save who they shot correct correct tama kasi, yun, 
Parang, yeah. parang wala akong urge ko yun. Ang <laughs> <laughs> internal breathing ang gagawin mo eh. My next uh, curiosity question here is, ano, what about uh, women and firearms? Uh, are there programs that go on to that or what's uh, is there a promotional aspect on that to encourage women in, in, in the Philippines yeah in the Philippines yeah well well they th- we, we teach them the same way we teach male the uh, mga lalaki no if they're mm-hmm. uh, i mean in terms of safety pare pare lang tingin namin sa kanila kasi importante yung safety eh hindi mo ba yeah. syempre eh, medyo gentle <laughs> yeah gentle lang yung approach <laughs> Okay, so mind you, ha? Yung dexterity nila, maganda. <laughs> yeah. But do you think uh, the way of teaching is the same, di ba sabi mo? Yeah. Yeah. Special treatment kasi gun eh. Safety. Yeah. Talaga, safety. Yeah. Safety becomes kind of the really driving factor there. Yeah. Uh, uh, map- mapapansin mo lang pag maganda yung babae nandun sila parati sa babae tapos kanyang lalaki iwan lang <laughs> kaya mo yan kaya mo yan hindi rin mo dami yung stack sa yung babae sabi mo nga oh para lang mga ano makausap just out of curiosity I, you know I, I, did, I didn't get to circle back kanina when we were talking about the licenses I mean you're looking at what kind of cost factor to have to get a license to to own then the permit and then the license for the firearm more or less kind of in what range that is that because I, I actually don't know well alam mo na in, in more or less in dollars di ba magkano yes. inabot sa'yo magkano inabot sa'yo yung LTAP mo LTAP oo uh, LTAP mo hmm about 75 well I'm, I'm, I'm problema don't kasi side ng ulo siguro is the travel kung, kung if you're gonna keep going to let's say neuro you can, if you if you're gonna make your license Portion by portion, it's gonna cost you more money because of travel. But now Luckily we have for this one-stop shop right now. One-stop shop, yeah. Yung ginawa ng arm score. That's what I did. So the expense ko lang is I added a cost of flying to Cebu to get my L top. Ang maganda rito. Uh, <laughs> may, may extra business ka dun. Ikaw naman. No? <laughs> yeah. Ang maganda rin nangyari sa akin sa Cebu. I mean, uh, I know Eric Eric is here, but you know, they, they actually, being a member of the Spades, I'm very proud of. So, show off talaga ako. Pag you know, nagtatravel ako, sinusuot ko talaga to. I'm like, yeah, I'm part of the Spades, you know. Uh, nung nagpunta ako ng Cebu to get my LTAP, kasi nagawa ng arm score ng one shop, one ex, uh, exhibit nila. Uh, medyo may nakakilala sa akin. Nakapagturo din ako ng ano ng knife defense dun sa seminar. So na expedite yung process ko na, na I'm cutting lines, <laughs> you know. So yeah, biski nga. Well, I can't say it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi like, yung no, process no, ko no, lumit. Paano ka? Paano ka? Nang nang tataka ako paano ka pumasa ng euro? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a friend that knows a friend. <laughs> that knows but, another uh, friend. Actually, medyo nga disappointed ako kasi actually this year, Arms Corps invited me to teach again sa Manila saka sa uh, uh, what do you call this? Davao. Kaso, ano eh, COVID. So, cancel lahat. So, hopefully, they still remember me next year. Oh. Yep. oh, yeah. August yep. ka. Tama-tama. August ang ano eh. Ang yeah. uh, gun show. Gun show. Yeah. September. So, so, Eric, I mean, uh, any other uh, experiences that you, that you encountered after owning the gun, in a, uh, you know, that made you want to learn more or napatrouble ka pa after learning to shoot? Well, no. Nung natuto ako niyan, in terms of yung init ng ulo mo, talagang naging cool ka eh. Kasi, you know, you can hurt people na eh. Diba? So kung, let's say, yeah. uh, traffic, road rage, minura ka, 
Eh, murahin mo na lang. Tapos, eh, good readings na lang ganun. Di ba? Hindi ka na, hindi cool ka na lang. Di ba? Kasi, yeah. you know, you can do him harm. Also, yeah. uh, when I compete, no, let's say, nagsumali ako sa competition, I'm not there basically to win. Gusto kong ma-experience yung course of fire. Tapos, I look at it in a way na uh, real scenario to. So, ito. May kalabang ka talaga. Oh, this room is, and ito yung room ng anak ko, ito yung room na ganyan. So, talagang iniisip ko, nag enjoy tuloy ako. So, yung enjoyment factor ko, naging times two. Nakapaglaro na ako. Nakapag- Nakapag-training ka pa. <laughs> Nakapag-training ako. Nag-enjoy pa ako. Kasi, di ba? Ganun lagi isipin mo eh. Minsan kasi, like, wow. alam, alam niyo naman, mahal ang bala dito. Tapos, yeah. eh, limited. Pag nasa range ka, walang, walang nag-a-assist sa'yo, be stationary shooting ka, practice-practice ka doon. Pero iba pa rin pag competition, may mga mag, may kakadyaw sa'yo. Tapos, ako talaga enjoy ako pag na-visualize ko na yung, uh, yung course of fire. Saan ako pupunta dito? Saan ang galaw ko dito? Binibilang ko pa nga yung sa mind ko. Ha, I'm counting the steps going from one port to another port. So, nasa mind ko yan, tumatakbo yan. Tapos, from time to time, medyo hindi naman tayo bata na yung memory ko medyo nag-overload nagkakamali may nalilimutan ka <laughs> eh, 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 question eh, question lang uh, let's say buy a gun no? kasi eh, feeling ko naman parang useless may barrel ka lang wala kang training eh. how much do you have to spend siguro weekly or monthly in order to train para proficient ka you know what you only need 50 rounds per per one Per, per week per session how many, se- how many sessions would you say in a in a month should you <laughs> intake that para maintain mo yung ano mo that depends ah. matagal na kasi ako kaya ngayon minsan mm. ayun kasi dahil nga uh, pandemic sa atin di ba last time I shot mm. was February 2020 mm. nakakatawa nga sa Pilipinas di ba kasi si na Eric talagang sulit yung bala kaya they don't waste you know, ammo, they they specifically have objective. Samantala kami ni Jun dito, ilan ba lo natin? 500 today. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, relatively, relatively oh, mas mura ba sa state? Mas mura, mas mura. Uh, well, it Actually, was, it, it was. Tapos hey, biglang... Jun, <laughs> uh, tell the story the first time I took you to the range and you and Zach were just wasting ammo. What's the first thing I kept telling these guys? <laughs> oh, it's like, shoot with a purpose. Shoot with a yeah. purpose? Yeah. Shoot with, shoot with a purpose. Shoot with yeah. a purpose. Because come in, it's like, yeah, yeah, bye. Ay, dami, 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 bata sa, dami, dami, batang hindi nakakain ng bala, tapos, you know, in English nila. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like, Diba yung naituro nyo sa amin yung proper handling, proper pointing ng gun, sa ano, diba? Diba sa, sa grip, diba? Tinuruan nyo kami doon. Uh, nakita ko sa mga video mo, Kuya Eric, ano eh, uh, may mga iba-ibang drill, di ba? Either tuma- yung tumatakbo ka, tumasideway ka, humihiga, tapos yung blind side mo, ano di ba? Minsan, bigla kang susulpot. May mga ano din ba yun? May mga basic uh, procedure o course na tinuturo yun sa mga civilian? O mostly sa mga ano lang yun? Sa mga, ito na say, mga law enforcement. Uh, proper... Kasi training doon, uh, halo-halo na, iba pang leo, pang law enforcement, iba pang civilian. Normally, pag nakita mo yung mga training moves na puro one direction lang yon, pang civilian yon. Pero pag medyo may galaw na, uh, may tinatawag kami yung get out of the X, yung gut X training. Tinuro sa amin yeah. ng, actually, Amerikano rin nagturo noon eh. Ay, hindi, si taga, uh, Special Forces sa US na Pilipino. So, tinuro ko sa amin na pag firefight, hindi ka dapat naka-stationary dahil sigurado tatamaan ka. So, you have to move around while shooting. Ah. Hindi yung move around tapos ito ka shoot. Hindi. You have to move around while shooting. Tapos hindi mo alam, mayroon akong video isa na yung targets, different targets, ilikilawa na lang. Saan umilaw, titirahin mo. So, yeah. mo, hahanap ka ngayon ng sino kalaban mo, ilikilawa na naman. Aba, yung 
konti lang yung grounds na pinutok namin pero yung pawis ko sa hindi mo alam yung what to expect yung sinong lilitaw nakakapagod pala yung inuupak no <laughs> nako bro gun, yung right. we need to go to the gun range at night sige taga mo flash up tayo saka <laughs> maganda rin sa ang maganda rin sa gun range ni ni na eh, ni na, ng spades yung sa bat cave na namin anong <laughs> Anong degree siya? Pwede, Eric? 90 degrees siya. 90 degrees, see? 90 degrees. Hindi lang siya forward. 90 degrees ang angle. Pwede kang shoot ng 90. <laughs> Yun ang maganda rin sa, ano, sa bat cave. <laughs> Eric, Hubert, Eric. Hubert in the house nga pala. Hubert in the house. Oh, yeah. Hi, Hubert. Hello. Hubert. Hello. Karating grahe is complete. <laughs> Karating grahe is complete. Uh, <laughs> oh, Eric, Mr. 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 Uh, Mr. Di ba kanina sinasabi mo yung training? Ah, Nag-IDPA ka? Oo, oh, nag-IDPA din ako. Ganda. So, oh. so, matagal na rin yung mga 2,000, uh, 2,000 plus pa. 2,000 year, 2,000 plus. Pero may sarili ka na rin. Ha? Yung, may, well, hindi officially, dahil kasi dung, sa security industry rin ako, yung siyempre napapasama ka sa mga training, daya ako eh, dahil kasi bina- nagbabayad yung client eh. Ay, maganda so, yun. Sana nga, ganun din ako. Masama ka. <laughs> Pero anong tingin mo pare kay ano? Uh, ano? Kay uh, Instructor Zero? Instructor Zero, military yung kanyang ano eh. Yung kanyang uh, uh, style. No? So marami rin drills doon na ginagawa rin namin. Lalo na sa rifle. So, kasi nice. pistol parang uh, nag- nagagawa na namin before namin siya nakita eh. Pero yung mga movements niya, saka yung practice niya, magandang tularan, uh, pag-practisan. Oh. Pumunta dito yan, ha? nagturo sa uh, mga sundalo natin dati. Uh, si Instructor Zero. Yeah, nakapunta ng Pilipinas yun. Oh. Nagturo. Special guest, I think tatlo ata o apat sila nagturo. Uh, ano ata siya? Italian Special Forces. Eh. Oo oh, nga. Oh. Mali- Parang siyang maliit lang, eh, pero malaking katawan. <laughs> Galing niya, magaling. So ngayon sa ang kanag uh, ngayon na siyempre uh, lockdown. Anong ano mo ngayon? Ano ang uh, what you call this? Uh, by the way, I know na nagtuturo ka no. Pero do you do it as a uh, as an advocacy or do you do it as a profession? A trainer, profession. Actually ad- advocacy. Ah, advocacy. Hindi nice. kami naniningil. <laughs> Libre. <laughs> <laughs> Pero uh, your your profession is nasa ano uh, industrial security or yeah, business ako eh business ako businessman ah, okay. businessman anong industry, anong industry? Yes. businessman security Real industry ha 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 industry ha 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 Yeah. Ah, sa States din ba si Eric yan? Hindi, hindi. Sa, oh. sa Pilipinas. Ah, oh, yeah. Yung moonwalk, sabi mo. Hindi, yeah, hindi. Wala na sa moonwalk si Eric. Ah, oh, wala na. Okay. Ah, Lapit lang sa akin. Wala pero, na sa BTC. Pero, yeah. Eric, Eric, since ano, di ba? Fellow ako sa member ka pala eh. Siguro, ang galing mo na umilag <laughs> ng bala, no? Ah, okay. Di ba? Dali ko tamahan naman. Ang benefit ako sa ako. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi nung kalaban, mahirap yan, tako sa member yan. <laughs> Oo, oh, pagkarik sa ilagan yan. <laughs> Alam mo, na, nakakatuwa sa range. Ang nakakatuwa sa range, parang ano eh. Anong tawag dito yung, tuwan-tuwa yung mga members pag kami bagong dating ng newbie. Ay oo, oh, ah, ulam yun, ulam. Kung oh, anong pagpuputok <laughs> sa'yo, pari subukan mo yung baril ko, pari subukan mo. Ayoko. <laughs> Kasi so, malito ka na. Malilito ka na kasi iba-ibang hawak mo eh. Iba-ibang trigger mo eh. <laughs> Pero yung ano ba? Yung uh, is, ano ba yun? Parang, di ba siya sabi natin magkano yung pagkail? Ano yung basic? Pero may, may ano din dyan, di ba? Parang gear slots tawag sa amin sa, sa, sa filmmaking at saka sa photography gear slots eh. Yung naka-addy ka sa gear. So, <laughs> <laughs> kung gusto yan, naka-addy ba ang ano, gun gear? Ano naman, nakakaadong. <laughs> Lahat nga ng gamit ko, alam ng asawa ko, parang $300 lang halaga eh. <laughs> 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 Magilagyan ka ng limit. <laughs> How about uh, gun modification, Eric? Uh, I know you, you, you like to do gun modifications. 
when when I started, gusto ko siyempre, first time nung 25 years ago, yung unang gun ko na para ordnance na P1445. Uh, I have it souped up by Art Lantin. So every gun show, nakadisplay yun. Hindi ko maputok kasi nakadisplay lang. <laughs> pero, pero later on, sa akin, yung, yung basic modification for me, ah, right now, I must have a good night sights. Kasi pang carry ko pang defense. Eh. Night sights, good trigger, trigger, uh, trigger system, uh, ano pa ba? A light, a tactical light. Oh, kahit naman wala. Pero yun, basically, yun lang. Wala na ako masyadong babaguhin pa. Out of the box, normally, black, magaganda na si Z, magaganda na yung brand niyan eh. Konti modification lang. Sa akin talaga, malabo mata ko. Paggabi, gusto ko, nakikita ko yung, kahit yung front side ko man lang. Kasi doon, alam ko, lalabas yung bala eh. Yun. So yun lang, wala na akong, hindi ko na papagandahin ng maarte yung barrel, gastos lang. Gamitin ko nila yung gastos ko, Pambili ng bala, pampunta sa range, pamtraining, di ba? Yeah, 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 yeah. How about Eric? Uh, say, uh, how about uh, talking a little bit about uh, Iron Sight versus uh, Red Dot? Well, siyempre cool pag naka-Red Dot ka. Sa. <laughs> Pero <laughs> sino bang cool? Sige muna. Eric, sino bang cool sa barkada sa Buskonya nang mayroong Red Dot? <laughs> Maliban sa'yo. <laughs> si, uh, si ating paring Randy. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Anong, di- anong difference silang dalawa? Well, sa akin, mas maganda siyempre pag uh, yung steel sights mo. But eventually, as you age younger, eh, kailangan mo na ng <laughs> red dot. Pakakatulong sa'yo. However, may effective range siya. So for me, sa city ano city scenario ang zero ko ng red dot nasa 15 to 20 meters lang way above uh, that atakbuhan ko na lang kasi hindi rin ako tatamaan ng kalaban ko uh, <laughs> malayo na yun di ba sa medyo sa bahay yeah. dito bye bye lang when pero when it comes to the range at more than 50 meters ay mas gusto ko na yung crosshair crosshair yep yeah. oh, mas uh, sigurado yun so ang kaganda ng red dot very fast to acquire the target yun ang maganda doon. Yun ang maganda, yep. Oo. Tapos you have to compensate. Let's say, nag, nag-zero ka sa 15 to 20 meters. Pagdating sa mga 5 meters pa baba, magkocompensate ka na. Hindi na doon sa dead center ang, ang asinta mo dahil mayroon kang consider mo yung barrel saka yung red dot height mo. Eh. Correct, so, yun correct, mga, correct. Yun mga sistema dyan. Correct. So, kung ba, kung kung ano ba kung yung assailant po is less than 10 feet away, do you really have to aim ba? Well, 10 feet away? Yeah. Eh actually kahit na yung ano lang eh, yung instinctive body shooting ba? Tapos yeah. mo na tayo yeah. no, body. Oh. Body index. Pero you have to practice that ha? kasi minsan yung from yes. the waist pag yeah. throw mo depende yeah. sa angle ng galaw ng baril mo. Kung nakaganon, diretso yan. Eh, normally uh. pag mga 3 uh, feet away o 1 meter, 2 meters away dapat nakaslant na ganun yan from the hip ha? para tatama mo sa body mismo. Yeah, okay. we practice didn't nyo, you practice. teach practice. didn't you teach that teach that to us uh, Eric? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yung, yung uh, car kayo, diba? Ne, yung car yung program, diba? Yeah. Yeah. Actually nagulat yung mga, yeah nagulat sa akin yung mga, actually even Zach uh, you know he was surprised that I know that the car program <laughs> he goes how did you learn that you just started shooting pero merong mga instances that you have to use that for example uh, actually dalawa yan it's car and uh, yung temple index depende yan sa situation mo di ba uh, mm-hmm. masikip yung lugar Uh, pag ano, mag-car ka kasi malapitan eh. Pag, uh, di ba, car gano'n, di ba? Yep. Pag in-extend mo, baka mag-grab lang yung baril mo. Di ba? Yeah. So, let's say, movement naman. Let's say, nasa kotse ka. Paano ka mag-move may baril ka? Di temple index na kataas para wala well, tatamaan na pa o leg. Hmm. Depende sa galaw yan. Sa scenario. So, you should know, di ba, lahat ng past possible mong malalaman. Uh, minsan, nakakatawa sa pag para nakakatawa to. Tapos marirealize mo pag ginamit sa exact situation, ay, yung tama. Yun. Yung ko gagamitin yun. Doon lang. <laughs> Doon lang. Hindi sa labas na nasa open air range tayo tapos naka ganun ka. <laughs> Mukha kang tanga. Yeah. <laughs> yung mga kagod, yung... Sir, sir Eric, 
yung mga ganun sa Eric, yun yung mga ano, yung sa mga seminar tinuturo ba yun sa yung iba tinuturo. Kasi ang seminar basically ngayon is yung basic gun seminar, basic marksmanship, yung alignment ng baril lang, pero yung mga movements, advanced training na yun. Tuturo sa iyo yun, kung ano pang advanced na. Hmm. Makaka makakatipid ba yung ano, yung kung may same model ka na airsoft? Oo, oh, pwede. Okay naman kasi. Diba? Basta same model. Gun, as, ano, loaded, basta ganun lagi. Uh-huh. Yung rule number one, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kaya sa akin, di ba, uh, June, sabi ko, yung kahit naka-chamber loaded ka or hindi, it doesn't matter sa akin uh-huh. kasi once I see it, I always think of it na it's loaded. It's loaded, diba? yeah. I-clear ko lagi yan. Kahit may, wala yan laman o meron laman, i-clear ko yan. Automatic na. Kahit magpapairam ako sa'yo ng baril, i-clear ko muna yan. Pagpasok sa'yo, i-clear mo rin yun. Pagpasok yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 Para, para, para nga niya, eh, yung asawa mo, kahit nakangiti, kahit maganda yung mood, always stay, it's loaded. Napanood mo yung PIDEA Q-tip shootout. Oo, oh, grabe, no? Grabe, no? Anong, ano mo? Anong about lessons, yun, about. Uh, anong lessons nakita mo dun sa gunfight nila? Firefight nila? Well, hindi ko naman sila ma-blame, pero yung unang nakita ko sa may kotse, nagbabarilan, halos napatan, hindi magkatamaan. Diba? <laughs> Siguro, adrenaline rush na kasi nakadalawang kamay na siyang ganun. Tapos, nasa front siya ng kotse. The other guys at the back, nagbabari lang sila. Hindi sila tatamaan. So, De, kasi ano yan eh, uh, nanotice ko yan kahit kami sa rumble eh. Yung speed mo, magugulat ka sa speed mo, makaiwas eh. Kasi minsan katulad nun, pinalo ako sa ulo ng tubo, hindi ko nakita. Yung ulo ko mismo kumilos ng ganun. Oh, so, bigsabi, pag speed. malapitan... Sempre pag tinitira mo is dead target eh. hindi naman gumagalaw yon eh. Pero magugulat ka di ba pagka ginanong ka ng aso di ba bilis mo gumanon. Bilis mo mag-react. Palagay ko yun yun eh. Oh, palagay ko yun yun eh. Kasi di ba nung initial fire yung unang pinatay tumakbo ng ganon di ba? Yung unang binanata hindi siya aware. Pok, bagsak. Pero nung nagkaroon hmm. awareness na ng putukan doon ng bibi. So para nagpapatindi rin sila. Magandang <laughs> <laughs> training ang patindi. Tapos tumama doon sa guy na di ba yung nakita mo yung 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 nakita mo yung di ba yung binanatan. So di ba may pumunta dito may mga barrel from the other side facing the camera. So one, oh. yung mga barrel sa kanya di ba hindi niya matamaan kasi aware oh. siya. Oh. Oh. Ang tumama sa kanya is the dito sa likod. Ah, okay. Siguro yung, yung hindi mo makita, yun ang papatay sa iyo. Wala. Yun yeah. Yung ano, tinian mo ah, lahat ng tinama, lahat ng hindi tinamaan, lahat yun may asawa eh. Sa kay Eric, remember nung uh, one session natin nag-uusap tayo about uh, hindi ko na alam kung sino nag-bring up eh, na ang defense daw sa knife is humiga oh? Oh, yun ang huh? pinapakita sa YouTube eh. Yeah so, din, sinabi ko kaagad sa kanila, huwag niyong gagawin yan kasi mamamatay kayo. Oh. Either patay kayo, patay din yung umaatake sa inyo. Wala naniniwala sa akin. Then, a week later, napunta sa news, may gumawa. Oo oh, oh, nga. Na. Teka, anong logic? Anong logic nun? Logic. So, yun. So, medyo, medyo, medyo na bu- paano ako eh. Ha? Create, Baka daw higa. Distance. Create distance. Para, oh, para, para, eh, para so we can draw the gun. Sinaksak siyang ganun. Oh, tapos siya. <laughs> tapos siya. Ah, to create distance. Tapos. Ah, and, 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 uh, so he can draw the gun. Okay. Ang problema niya, okay. 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 di ba naging problema niya doon is yung knife attacker kasi kadalasan ng training use, uh, use, sanay sila pag right-handed. Hindi na-realize tong police na lefty yung kalaban. Ayun, yari. Bumunot sa kaliwa. Yari siya. I mean, patay yung ano ah, the guy got shot on the head. I think he he died. But man, he he got stabbed several times. Hindi ko, lang, hindi ko lang maintindihan yung police. Parati naman silang ano, but wala silang 
parang ve- bumili ng vest na pwedeng meron, against knife, di ba? Meron sila, Henry, min- minsan meron pa sila yung mga Depende per department tsaka no, meron silang mga Panding. Ano, trauma plates, gano'n. Hmm, Pero in reality, yun. pag araw-araw kang lumalakad sa field. Ang init nun, ang bigat pa. <laughs> ang init nun, ang bigat nun. Hindi ah, masusunod. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Eh, eh yun ang pakita. Eric, nakita mo yun. Ina-advertise, sayang eh. Marketing Ayan. ano eh. Diyon, matatawa ka eh. Live, live TV, ina-advertise sa Brazil. Ano, magandang jacket, leather jacket. Knife proof. Ah, yung reporter. Wala uh, <laughs> magsasak. <laughs> 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 yung reporter. Reporter. Ay, ko lang, sabi ko, Eric or Kripal, yung tatlo na to, si... Kaya Henry, kaya Hubert, pati si Anthony, pumunta nag-shooting kasama niya. Who was the best shooter? Well, wala si wala si Hubert. Wala si, ah, wala si, uh, ah, wala, si, wala. si Henry lang, saka si uh, Anthony. And how were their performances? How were their shooting? Uh, eh, they're learning. <laughs> Meron ko lang pa rin ng practice. <laughs> oh, naman. <laughs> Actually, what happened is uh, si uh, Anthony nung simula, kasi nauna nga siya, uh, medyo hindi pa siya asintado. So, oh. turo kami ng turo. Dumating naman si Henry, sa unang mga 10 minutes niya, panay bullseye. Oo, oh, tama, tama, tama. I remember so, that. So, Tagtingin ko kay Henry, sigurado ka nagsisino ka liga ata sa amin na hindi ka marunong bumaril eh. But as soon as we keep going, naubusan ng stamina si Henry. <laughs> <laughs> he start missing. Ito naman si Anthony, the more he goes, uh. Yeah. yeah. He start hitting bullseye. <laughs> yun yung yun yung yun yung ano eh Paul yung ano yung sabi ko sa iyo hindi ba yung sinabi mo sa doon ko lang nalaman sa inyo ko lang nalaman na ang nag, nag ang nagki-carry talaga ng weight is the other uh, ano eh hand. Eh. The left the also TV. Hindi ba TV eh ginagaya ko TV. Eh. So <laughs> yun nga sabi ko may mali pa lang na, na, na ano ka sa Hollywood. Yeah, sabi ko kagad kay Henry, yeah. anong pagod sa kamay? Alam niyo eh. Sabi niya, yung kanang kamay ko, mas ano, pagod. Sabi ko, mali yan. Yung kaliwa, dapat ang pagod. Mm. So, napagod talaga si Henry. <laughs> Samantalang si Anthony, eh kasi si Anthony, siyempre, on time, mas marami siyang training na una-una. Si Henry kasi late eh. Ma- bis- paspasan yung kay Henry. <laughs> so, 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 da- so, dapat pala, so, dapat pala, mag-practice na ako ng left. Ang left yeah. na. <laughs> okay. Hindi na left na. Eric, ano ka ba? Eric, 1911 guy ka ba? I used to be 1911 guy. Pero later on, uh, nagbago na ako kasi mabigat. Ang dami mong babaguhin. Ang dami mong... Ang hirap linisin. Ang hirap linisin. So, eh, doon na ako sa... Ano, Tupperware gun. <laughs> Magaan, maraming bala, maraming pesa. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking Eric, what's your carry gun? Right now, yung CZ P10S. Wow. Dala ko ng carry gun. May clock pa rin ako. Yung clock ko nakakabit sa Rony. Yung isa, yeah. isa naman nasa nice. anak ko. <laughs> oh, wala. Do you, do you teach your kids? Yeah. I taught them when they were young, mga 8 or 8 years old. Yeah, wow. Like, wow. Na, eh. na sa competition ng rifle. <laughs> like house ah. clearing na. Clearing, clearing all the rooms sa bahay. <laughs> yeah, dapat alam nila. Yung Ronnie ba is a separate, ano, separate uh, permit? Wala, wala, wala siyang, uh, hindi siya kasama. It's uh, considered as an accessory. Okay. Yung kit na carbine kit. So, pwede mo lang lagay kahit sa salpak mo lang. Nice. Pero it helps kasi mas stable ka eh. Mas stable yung hawak mo. Good na performa. <laughs> Pero magkano yun? Magkano yung Ronin mismo? Yeah, uh, yung sa akin pala is K-Boss ang brand. K-Boss ang uh, tatak. Uh, ano ba ko ako? Parang 40 yata, 45. Hmm. So yung budget here sa Philippines for... Uh, okay na ba yung ano? Okay na ba yung... Okay na yung arm score niyo ah? Yung rock. Yung rock build. 
yung rock for uh, rock island, island pala pero ngayon, mas merong ano price range from around 25,000 yung Taurus G3 para sa Glock. Oh. oh. Yeah. Glock. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. For the for for your back, I think that Taurus is good. Kasi actually June has a uh, Taurus. Yeah. I I have a uh Taurus. Because of I... me, I convinced him to buy one. San San ko ang Taurus. San ko Taurus. Florida. <laughs> Uh, uh, loyal to your state. Take, uh, yeah, the main company is Florida, but I think some of the parts are in Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. But I Brazil. think ang Arms Corps also has a model copied after Taurus. Eh. I seem to recall, ah, meron silang licensed na ano mo kung ano. Meron yung map yata yun eh, pero wala na wala silang stock na yun. Eh. How do you find the ano yung? Yeah, how do you find the yung, yung 22 TCM? I try it maganda malakas nga lang yung kanya ano yung nagkakaroon siya Dragon Blast di ba ang pagputo uh, di ba pero it's uh, at 22 basically na marami lang charge yung uh, bala mahal nga lang ang bala di ba magkano yeah. 35 pesos a pop nako magkano 35 pesos or more yata para ganun sa sa stage ba sa 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 stage ba magkano bala sabi niyo mura di ba for example 9 mm how many how much that is that in pesos? In that pesos? Not right, oh. not right now. Actually, it went up. But um, hang on. Hindi, yung yeah. time na ano kayo? Yung time na galit kayo sa bala, inubus nyo. <laughs> <laughs> Pare, for, uh, I think sometimes you can, you can buy uh, 16 cents a bullet. Uh, a bullet. Kani uh, in pesos? So 0. 0.16 times... 50. 7 pesos. 7 pesos. Then 50, you bought 40. Exchange mo 40. 48. Magkano na pala, uh, Eric, ngayon ng uh, reload sa range? Pantagal ko na hindi po matop eh. Reload is 850. Yung FMJ ng arm score is 24 ah. pesos. Yeah, see, 24 pesos. Alam mo, Eric, ginagawa namin dati. Kilala mo si Mike Melchor? Oo, oh, kaibig ng si Mike. Ah, si Mike. Di. Lalakad kami. Pupunta kami ng, ano, ng uh, Aguinaldo. Punta kami sa firing range. Pupulot lang kami ng mga basyo ng 45 at 9 mm. <laughs> Kasi yung mga sundalo, iniiwan lang doon. Ah, si Mike, ginagawa yun eh. Big time si Mike Melchor. <laughs> Kaya kakatuwa. Nakilala Pero, mo si uh, Nakilala mo si LD bago namatay. LD si Mang LD yung gunsmith. Ay, ko na ma-recall. Siguro na meet ko din sa saan lugar siya. Nagsaan. Alimutan ko na yan yung yan yung gumagawa siya for special operator ng US. Bros. Uh, gumawa siya ng air, air gun na tamang-tama ang tolerance, fully auto. Ang bala yung 25 caliber na bulitas. Ah, okay ah. Oh, ginagamit daw ng mga Amerikano pang ganun eh. Oh, ano, may silence. Okay. Paul. Paul. Yeah. Naalala mo yung ano, sinabihan ako ng ano, sinabi binulungan mo agad ako. Yung mga boys na kumukuha ng bala, yung sabi ko sang ilalagay to, sabi. Sir, pwede niyo isul i i ano sa sa belt, sabi sa... niyan. Tapos biglang inano sinabihan mo ako. Yeah. So, okay. ibig sabihin, pagka pumunta ka pala sa gun range at walang educated doon na ano, do I have to, as a, as a civilian, medyo maninervous ba ako sa ituturo sa ano, mga tao doon? Hindi kasi, Philippine style kasi sila, saka, even though they know some gun safety, yung iba kasi walang common sense. Hmm. Kaya ganun. Di ba sabi sa'yo si isukbit mo? Oo. Oh. Nang walang holster. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> eh, pinaka-importante sa lahat in guns is yung safety ngayon now, nowadays ang safety mo talaga is the holster ah uh, okay so kung I mali yung that. holster mo <laughs> kung mali ang holster mo you're not safe kagaya yeah, kasi, pag, bumi yeah, go pag bumili ako ng go baril ahead. teka muna wait Right. Yan. Dapat may yeah. dapat kasi may pinapakita niyo yung mga toys niyo eh. Hindi niyo pinapakita eh. Eric, pakita ng toys daw. Ay, <laughs> talagang toys. 
So pag may holster, di ba? Ito <laughs> Play gun. Yan, wala akong ganyan eh. Oh, yan ang kailangan natin eh. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba, binigay ko na yung in-arbor nyo sa akin. <laughs> Ay, nasa kay Kasi. Nandun yeah. sa office. So watch ha. Kung, kung hindi siya magandang case, okay? I'm not selling this case by the way. You can And buy this on T-Rex, T-Rex ba yan? T-Rex? T-Rex. Okay. okay. Hindi siya bumabagsak oh. Nice. Uh, See, may, may retention niya, siya. No? May retention. Number two, since we're here, am I right? Watch. Hindi ko ma-access ang trigger. Mm. Ah, nice. See, paano ko ma-access ang trigger? Uh, Kahit anong gawin ko, hindi siya ma-access. Uh, nice. So, pag suot ko siya, di ba, ganyan, dito lang ako mag-iingat. Pag suot ko siyang ganyan, pag nag-reholster ako, mag- I'll just have to be careful na yung damit ko hindi sa sama. Uh, Kasi pag sumama yung damit, ang gagawin ng tao, ay ayaw pumasok. Ano gagawin niya? Ip- pipilitin. Pipilitin. Puputok ngayon. Uh, Just triggered. Kaya gagawin mo yon tatanggalin mo, titingnan mo, tanggalin mo ngayon yung damit mo, tapos saka mo ibalik. Uh, Kasi again, bumagsak ako, let's say, hindi siya mahuhulog. Yeah. But to add to that, uh, to that, add to that uh, whole screen, You know, we are civilians, so there's no need to rush the holstering. So that's why yes. a civilian carry, you look at it, you take your time to holster your weapon. Versus if, you know, police officers and, you know, law enforcement, iba na yun, because they're coughing and holding or, or whatever. But a civilian carry, you take your time and holster and make sure everything is clear and make sure you're, you're aligning properly. Boss Eric, tama ba tinuturo ko namin ni ano? <laughs> Kasi siya, siya talaga ang safety ko dati. Sabi, sabi, si Eric, proud parent eh. Proud parent eh. Oo nga. Naiyak ko, that's my son. <laughs> so basically, ang rule, draw as fast as you can and slow your ass down putting it back. Palito <laughs> <laughs> ako, baliktad din ako. <laughs> Eric, for ano, for uh, not yung anong tawag dito for an ordinary civilian na uh, hindi naman na uh, magiging uh, competitor ano, pang home defense lang at saka ano, budgeted. Anong recommended ano mo? Anong recommended uh, best bang for the buck? Sa kanina, nakita ko pinakamura yung G3. Around 25,000. Mga makana yan. At 25. Ilan rounds yun? Uh, ano? 17 yata. Ha? 17 round or 15. 17, 17 wala pa sa chamber. Wala pa sa chamber. Wala pa. Tama ba? Sa iba, Paul, uh, June sa'yo, di ba? G3 ba sa inyo? G3. Yeah. yeah. 15 G3. lang. Uh, 15. Uh, 15 lang ba? Uh, yeah. Uh, 16, with guys. A, 16 with a chamber. Kaya, uh, do you guys recommend a you know, chamber on, uh, ano, around on the chamber? Actually, yes. yes. Actually, <laughs> yes. it took me a while before I put one on the chamber. Yeah, it, okay. it's, it's very uh, intimidating. You need to be ready. It, very intimidating. You have to be ready. I yeah. mean, hindi ka pwedeng, hindi porket yung kaibigan mo is one on the chamber, gagayahin mo siya. Oh, hindi ka naman comfortable. Don't do yeah. that. Actually, it's been a big a big thing that Peter Paul has been pushing me before because I was like, no, I don't want to carry in the chamber. Tapos, it's, it's, you start thinking about it and analyzing it about, uh, you know, the amount of time it takes you to draw and then have to rack. That's one thing. That, that's one component. The second thing, you know, if somebody is threatened, let's just say I, I was able to draw. If somebody is confronting me, tapos nakita nila ako mag rack, what are they going to think? Yung parang, oh shit, you know, I need to attack this guy. Seconds, remember? Six seconds. Six seconds. That's another full well, few just... seconds. Kahit na, my intent is not to shoot him. I mean, I mean, I mean, not to shoot him. You don't, you take it out when you intend to shoot. But I mean, you know, if there's any hope of not firing and everybody walking away, but the fact that I, oh, I, I don't know, I racked my gun, parang, okay, you know, changes the energy. Eric, go. Mm-hmm. Eric. Ano sa yeah. anong ano mo? Sa, yan nga, one sa beginner. In the, uh, one in the chamber, syempre. One in the chamber. Yung, oh. yung turo na sa amin, kasi ano yung 
just in case na wala kang naka-chamber. Wala kang naka-chamber, di ba, nandito? Pag-ugot mo ng ganon, di ba? Tube. Uh, ano yan? Israel style. Uh, Israel, yeah, Israel style. style. Pero, Israel mas maganda pa rin na sa chamber pero just in case wala, may, may ano pa rin siya. Meron pa rin siya. <laughs> yeah, alam mo, wala, dahil wala akong budget, hindi naman ako tinitain. Tapos sabi ko po siya, COVID, parang gusto ko nalang bumili ng revolver. <laughs> Ito ang kagandahan kasi, no? uh, like for example, saan ba nangyari ang common shootout? Alam mo, nasa uh, Ponsi So, hawak ka sa Manibela. So, yung isang baril mo nasa, sasabihin natin nasa gilid mo lang. Yeah. Tapos may lumapit sa yung hohol the pig ka. Kakasabo pa ba? Uh-huh. Siyempre, pag tukot mo, isang hand mo is nakahawak sa manipela, kuha mo, putok mo na. Hindi mo na kailangan ikasabo. Tama. Tama. Diba? Tama. Yun lang, yun uh-huh. yun ang isang sa akin. Mali ka dyan, Eric. Oo. Oh. <laughs> Train kami as Fernando po Jr. Kaya namin. <laughs> 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 uh, yung ginag- kumakasa na yung isa yun. <laughs> Ginagano ko na kumakasa. <laughs> may magandang, may magandang product. May oh, magandang yeah, product dati na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ano? Paano? Paano? Oh, yung ginagano niya ng ganun? Yeah. Pero lakas nun. Oo, oh, ewan ko siguro dito sa malakas yung ganito niya. Kasi hindi kaya malambot yung... Hindi kaya malambot yung ano niya. Pinahiram ko yung barit ng time nun. Pinahiram, pinahiram ko yung bago kong noring ko. Napakatigas. Ay, ganun lang niya. Talaga ko ba siya? Oh, ang galing ah. Pwede pala yun. Practice lang talaga. Sinasapay niya ganun. Baka naman boxing era yun. <laughs> Wala po siya ganun nga yata dati. <laughs> Eric, ano, meron product dati nung nasa industry pa ako. Ewan ko kung ala- nandun pa ngayon. Yung 3M, meron silang film. Film ng, ano, ng parang uh, ilalagay mo sa, ano, sa salamin. Number one, bullet, ano siya, depende, ano siya, may grading may siya. Magiging bullet. Mag, ah, ganda, bulletproof. Pero yung isang ganda, pagkatama lagay mo, mag-resist yung bullet papunta sa'yo. Pero yung fire a bullet going out. Hingin ko may technology naman sila na ngayon ng ganyan eh. Kahit sa mga ginagamit sa armored na mga kotse, gano'n. Mm. Yun lang, yung sticker mismo, 2 million pesos per foot. <laughs> Holy shit. Kaso, Do you reload, do you reload yourself? Nag- no. Nagre-reload ka rin? Nagpapareload lang ako sa yung mga repeatable uh, reloading center. Saka alam na nila yung gusto kong ano, karga. Oh, ito pa rin pala si Eric, bro. Uh, so every time I visit him, I will, since I'm shooting also in the Philippines now, he goes, I'll order some ammo from him. Ah, he, yeah, ins- yeah. he inspect every bullet Tama, one ano? by one. I mean, he looks at it, he physically touches it just to make sure it's safe. I mean, ganyan ka, ka ano si Eric. What are you, what are the things you need to look out for, Eric? Uh, sa mga rito re- recommended. For, for reloads kasi, pag uh, several types na nagamit, nagkakabulge na siya. So, like for example, lakang panlaro ko, kailangan, dinadrop, binabarrel drop ko siya isa-isa. Talaga 100% before I go to shoot. Kasi ayoko yung, sayang yung oras ko sa pag-clear ng jump. Nainis ako doon, hmm. nasisira, discard ko eh. So, kung magkamali man ako, may nalimutan na lang akong target na banatan. Pero hindi ako magkakaproblema sa mga jam, jamming. Ayoko na noon. Tapos na ako doon eh. Ayoko lang eh. So, before, before the, the night before, kung 300 rounds yan, iisa-isahin ko yan. Nice. <laughs> Napasok sa barrel. Oop, pasok, pasok. O, pag hindi, tabi mo na to, panghuli na to, pang target practice lang. O yan ah, uh, may tiktik na kayo ah. <laughs> yeah. Para pag ano. It's, it's bullet diba? finale kanya pagkatapos. Kahit okay, yung magagaling, yung, yung magagaling na shooter natin sa Pilipinas, sila Jetro. Actually, nakuna pa ako sa kanya, pero magaling talaga yung batang yun kasi maraming pang ano, practice eh. So, ginagawa nila, uh, kahit mga top seat, minsan nalilimutan nila mag-ano, mag-ganon. Minsan naubusan silang bala, bibili na lang sila sa range. Yeah. Eh, minsan, minsan natatalo ko sila dahil nagja-jump sila. Dahil noon. Oo. Eh, ilang seconds yeah. din yun. Two seconds, ang laki na noon. Ang two seconds, yeah. every jam, malaking points na sa score, malaki yung talo niya doon. So, yun, isang technique. Pag maglalaro ka, o kaya nila siguro carry mo, check-checkin mo yung bala mo. <laughs> Check mo. So, natingin mo, Eric, uh, 
you think it's recommended for self defense to do uh uh go, going to competition to train yes of course kasi na practice mo in different positions body positions gun positions saka yung rhythm mo pag going from one point to another the targets mo makikita mo minsan malaki minsan maliit minsan malapit minsan malayo all of this will help you eh pagdating sa actual scenario eh pag nangyari ang dyan na alam mo, alam mo na hindi ka na maninibago na paano ko bababarin saan ko bababarin ito eh matik yan dalawa agad papa yep. diba? tsaka yung nervous siguro no? na kahit, di, kahit iba at least may nervous compared sa shooting range ka lang mag-design diba? Actually, laging may nervyos kahit magkukumpit ako yung simula. May nervyos yun kasi siyempre may, may mga magagaling dito, di ba? Eh, ako gusto ko lang mag-enjoy. So, tagaling mo lang yun. Filter out. So, yeah. Eric, uh, di ba may mga drills na ginagawa kagaya ng Mozambique, di ba? Mozambique drill, di ba? May sarili bang drill sa mga Pinoy na uh, pwede natin sabihin na yan ang Pinoy style ng, ng pagbaril ng kalaban? Well, yung mga drills naman natin, lalo na yung mga classifier, ginagaya lang natin yung sa Amerika eh. So, Mozambique, El Presidente, doon ang base yeah. ng, ano, ng leveling sa shooting. Eh yung ano, yung drill yung, 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 na... Pada ano. Ah, pagkatapos nun. Yan ang Pinoy style. Ano yung ano? Paul, ano yung ano? Yung pinakita ko sa yung video, yung... Magkalinya sila. Ewan ko kung security agent yun, agency yun. Kala ko si Sinas yung, yung nakalinya sila. Tapos sabay-sabay nagdudo, umiikot, nagtatawanan. Oh Ito, yeah. Yun? Ginawa sa Pilipinas. Oh God. Yung mga security <laughs> na training na mali-mali. Oh God. Nakalinya lahat. Grabe yun. Yung barrel nakatutok. Ah, yung ako. Ay, Jet Squad yata yun eh. Yeah, yeah, Ay, yeah, iba yeah. Pa, iba pa. Legend yung Jet Squad. Iba pa. Iba pa. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was uh... Hey, you saw that too. <laughs> yeah, nakita, nakita ko yun. Dumaan sa mga barkada eh. Sabi <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, 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 hey, hey, Let's say, ano, may gustong ano, matuto. Uh, where do we contact yung advocacy niyo? Eh, PM nyo lang ako. Basta may time ako. Eh, o, al- alam mo naman, gusto ko lang makalabas at makapunta rin sa range. Eh. <laughs> Basta sagot niya yung bala niya. <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. Good, 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 good. Ilan ang, ano, ilan ang, uh, yung magtitrain, ilan ang, ano niya, rounds na, no? 50 rounds? 50 rounds, pwede na. Pero mas maganda, 100 rounds, para medyo matagal, tagal. Yeah. Tapos mga, ano yan, 4 hours yan, kasi magsisimula tayo sa uh, these basic rules. Tapos uh, yung grip, yung paano hawakan, yung, uh, paano mag-aim. So, hindi natin yung first session niya, normally stationary lang. Tamaan mo lang yung target na malapit sa'yo. Isa ka comfortable. Tapos magkano yung para alam ng ano, magkano yung consumables? Diba? Dahil, uh, Siguro, mga magkano ang gagastos ng... niya? Uh, magdala siya ng 1, 5, plus 500 pagkain namin pagkatapos. <laughs> Oo, oh, importante yun. Importante yun. <laughs> importante yun. Eh kung ano, kung wala pa siya, alabawa re-rent siya ng range range gun, magkano, magkano rent? Oh, dito ang range gun eh, ang rent na parang 350 yata eh. Hmm. Tapos ang uh, shooting range fee is parang 150 or 200. Saka maganda kay Eric, kadalas ang kilala na siya sa range. Oh, yeah. Benefit. I mean, kilala na siya. So, basta magbibigay ka ng magandang tip doon sa mga Bullet Boys. Bullet Boys. Kilala ka talaga. <laughs> Malayo pa lang, sir. Buha din ka pag mo. Kulang na lang basta ihihin ka. Wala sa iyo. <laughs> Di ba? Pag yeah, yeah, yeah. mo, hahanap sila sa ibang bay ng bala para sa iyo. <laughs> <laughs> Ano pa lang ano ano pa lang worst accident na nakita mo sa range? Oh my god. Uh, ako, ah, that's a good question. Ako personally nagkaroon ako ng AD, accidental discharge dito sa bahay. Uh, no, shit. Oh. shit, hindi lang yayari sa akin 'yan. Yeah, one time, long time ago. Ang awful. Yari kasi niyan. The night, the night before, meron ko tinig na napainom, napainom ako. 
Mm-hmm. So, yung kinabukasan, medyo parang ano pa ako, sinetsin, clear ko yung 1911 pa yung panlaro ko noon eh. So, clear ko, kala ko, okay, clear na. Boom, pumutok. <laughs> Tapos wala rin, hindi na ako oh, natakot ako. Kaya pala ayaw ko na ako. <laughs> so, nung pumutok yun, bro, ay, is it daytime or nighttime? 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, may dumating na pulis. <laughs> Buti lang, wala. <laughs> Alam mo, ang, ang statistic dito sa US, sabi yung... Uh, kadalasan daw yung first discharge, even the second discharge ng accidental discharge ng baril, walang tatawag na pulis. Because they think it's a normal sound. <laughs> okay, eh, dyan, dyan yun eh. Yeah. Magulo eh. Yeah. Kasi ka, parang nila, ano lang, tapos wala natawag talaga. I mean, not unless it's uh, multiple uh, gunfire. Uh, but yung mga one and two, wala raw talagang natawag. They, they don't, they're not gonna call. Pwede ka mag-easy uh, dyan. <laughs> <laughs> Pero so by the way, makalimutok ka kanina ko pa tinatanong, uh, gustong tanongin, uh, sa backyard mo, can you shoot targets? Uh, dito sa law. city. By, by law. By may law. city ordinance ba? No. Uh, sa probinsya kasi ginagawa yun. Not unless may nag-complain sa'yo. Pag may nag-complain sa'yo, pwede kang ma- madali doon. But if not, di ba? Uh, Usod ka. Pero ba't pagagawin yun, di ba? Go to the range. And then, pagtatanong lang. Yeah. Nagbawal ba? Oo oh, nga, June. Ikaw talaga, oh. <laughs> Pinatalong daw ni June. Pinatalong ni June. <laughs> Pinatalong ni June. Paano raw nasa, ano ka, let's say, nasa 32 floor ka. Oh, mamamaril ka. Iba na yun. Yeah. Kaso, Probably. let's say, uh, let's say, uh, what do you think, let's say, as a business, opening a, a gun uh, range or a gun store in the Philippines, you think it's a good idea? Not now. Well, oh, oh, not now. Saka, you know, maraming uh, licensing na kailangan. Tapos, and, uh, mara- when you deal with with government, mahirap, lalo na yung firearms, mahirap yan talaga. Not unless connected na connected ka. Mm, okay. Yeah. The best way is have friends who own ranges, <laughs> di ba? Ranges. Uh, wala ka ng problema. Doon ka na lang. Bayad ka na lang, wala kang problema. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good business kung meron kang katay up na ano, general travel agency. Well, number oh, 1 yeah, general. general. Number oh. 2 travel agency kasi by law, di ba dito ang bayad namin katulad noon, sabi niya 850 na ngayon, 850 pesos. Sa ano, dollar sa ano eh. Sa ano, eh. Sa ano, sa by law, $8.50. O, tinan mo. <laughs> Ganun. Iba yung, iba yung iba fresh tingil. Magkaiba. Yeah. I'm just thinking about it. You know, maganda rin naman tanong kasi uh, most of most of our followers are mga Pinoy's din uh, maybe in the Philippines. Kasi ang goal talaga namin is to educate uh, Filipinos in the Philippines. Saka yung mga uh, Pinoy's here na uh, working in the US or abroad na babalik ng Pilipinas so they can they know the law para you know yep. kaya yep. ginagawa namin tong show na to that's why we invited you uh, to talk here to educate them yeah so Eric meron bang existing ngayon these days na no what they call this yung uh, yung ano pang CQB mga kill, kill rooms na for, for training. May existing meron sa mga kampo. Meron, meron sa mga kampo. Ah. Minsan nagpapaset up talaga. Pag may trainings, okay. may ganun. Mm. So, Pero mahal, mahal ba yung training nung ganun? Uh, yung, huling, yung huling training na pinasali ko yung anak ko, parang 5,000 yata. Eh. Two days yun sa Bulacan. Yeah, per two days naman. Oh, two days. Tapos so eh, six, Mura 600 na yun. rounds yung bala. <laughs> Sama na yung pagkain doon. Wala, kanya-kanya ng bilip pala. Wala, Actually, mura yun. Pa. Mura yun. Actually, Paul, uh, magandang, magandang business nga na parang ano eh, 
vacation training sila sa bundok dito no mga sundalo nang nagtutur sa kanila actually yun nga pinag-uusapan na <laughs> mga pula oh, yeah. yun oh. remember ha, iba, this, uh, iba ang turo ng ano military sa Sibiya ibang iba yeah. ako na nung nag, nag-train ako rin doon sa Bulacan pinagalitan ako nung ako trigger finger out nagagalit sila kasi hindi ka raw ready noon dapat laging naka ah kasi iba oh ibang kanilang oh. ano Orientation. Kahit, kahit yung I, ano ngayon, may five pero, days ngayon ng, uh, nag-iba ngayon ng CQB training nung, di ba, uh, nag-cross, ang, ang galing na nangyari because of Afghanistan eh. Tsaka uh, yung mga nangyari. Sa Marawi. Highly, sa Marawi na nangyari, uh, nag-iba rin ang, ano, ang galaw nila. Nag-iba dahil kasi sabi nila, yung kadalasan, eh, first phase, yung... yung may, Urban US warfare military, kasi. Urban, uh, US military na influence ng mga polis. Kasi na-realize nila, ang gagaling pala ng mga SWAT sa CQB. Better than soldiers. Oh, kasi Pero, para ating na ano eh. Oh. Mas madalas kasi yung mga police sa LA, yeah. putsan, dalas makipagputokan yan eh. Mas madalas pa sila sa ano. Pero as time progressed, na-realize nila, yung CQB kasi ng police is to ano, uh, ano anong tawag doon? Uh, para mag-rescue ka ng hostage. Sila iba. Kaya to yung, eliminate. Eliminate sila. Oh, iba yung sa sundalo so iniba nila. Namamatay sila doon sa ano. Talagang dami. Kailangan constant ka ng pag-aaral. Ako nawala lang ako ng how many years sa industry. Hindi naman ako talaga trained dahil kami yung mga kontratista. Kami nag-hire ng mga nagtuturo eh. Pero pag, ngayon yung mga ano pag binabasa ko sabi ko sobrang dami na pala. Yung parang doktor yung alam mo before hindi na ano ngayon. Ang daming bagong daming bagong uh, malalaman no oh. daming learnings ang dami iba-ibang scenario iba-ibang application yeah you know maganda ngayon in, in this time you know marami tayong cross uh, exchange ng information you know at saka, at saka ngayon madaming ano napansin ko mas madami na ngayon yung mga magaling na babae na bikini tas mga baril <laughs> Nakakataranta yun, nakakataranta ka nun. Alam mo, dagdag na lang nun para kumlik yung channel. Di ba, babae na mamarel. Nagdagan mo ng pusa. Gagaling ang ano? Gagaling ang peripheral vision mo. Pucha, nakatingga doon. Pero yung matang ka, matang kita yun. Una ko nahala eh. Nagatingin na lang. Di dapat direct mo yun. Hindi, ang galing mo nga eh, Eric. Ang galing mo, bullseye ka pa natin, pero nakaganyan ka lang eh. <laughs> Alright. So, namimiss mo mga, ano, mga, <laughs> mga barkada mo sa range? Nakikita pa naman kami, kaya lang hindi kami pumutok, nagiinuman lang kami. <laughs> Paul, ilan kayo? Ilan yung, paano yung group nyo ulit? Sorry, late ako ah. Uh, late ako. Di ba mayroon kayong sharing. group? Yung, yeah, sharing. Yung, an, 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 ano, yung, ano yung name ng group nyo? Tas Go ahead, Eric. Same school lang? Or ano? Eric, ano yung name ng group nyo? Ah, uh, Spades. Yung group nyo. Yung aming, ano, yung Spades ang pangalan. And uh, is it composed of school members lang, yung mga classmates nyo? Or, no, 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 mga ano rin, mga ordinary gun-loving people na mahilig lang mag, mag-train, matuto sa fire amuse, naglalaro pa minsan-minsan. Ayun, tas magkaka-area namin, more or less, magka sa same South Metro Manila. Mm, tapos nag-sponsor ba kayo ng mga events kayo mismo, mga competition? Uh, bali ano yung interclub lang yung minsan sa camp club lang namin may fan shoot kami so yun nagkikita yeah. kami kaso maraming cha- maraming champion sa ano sa club namin <laughs> maramihan yan yun ang mga, mga, ano? mga nag-uwi ng mga medals <laughs> saka mga trophies <laughs> Eric nagmamerge ba yung mundo ng ano yung yung uh, community ng uh, shooters saka mga preppers o magkaibang ah, trivia. Yeah. Meron din naman. Meron sila nag, ano, na gano'n. Kasi kasama rin yun sa survival eh. So at least uh, pati knives kasama. Pati uh, archery kasama. Nag-archery rin kami nung time na gun ban. <laughs> Wala kami oh, ginawa. Oh, tama. Nakalimutan ko yun. Kami, eh, archery. Pansyot uh, namin. Archery. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Tapos natalo pa ako nung anak ni Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> 
what, what are the major uh, shooting events na if hindi ka iba ikaw competitor ka eh The, uh, ik, ano naman oh, pakikwento naman ng landscape ng shooting events sa uh, local and then international kung serious shooter ka ano yung mga Wimbledon Wimbledon dyan ano yung mga things to look out for ah uh, okay sa local uh, yung mga mga palaro dito may, may level 1 level 2 level 3 so level 1 okay. depende sa number of stages lang so yung level 3 o level 4 nasa mga 30 stages yun so ang dami mong Uh, cause of fire, course of fire, sa kada yung balang gagastusin doon. Nakakapagod oh, yeah. yun. Magastos oh. yun. Tapos yung mga nagtatap si doon, sumasali sa international events. So yun, wow. may mga sponsor na yun. So nakita mo naman mga Filipino shooters, ang daming yeah. ano, yung, yung uh, nagsasaksit sa labas. Magagaling correct, mga correct. Pilipino. Yeah. They, that's with with limited uh, ammo too. I mean, conserving right. ammo. Oh. I, I don't think I don't think you'll get to the top level na hindi ka na sponsored then because oh, sa gas, 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, sponsor uh, Armscore. We're looking for sponsors, Armscore. <laughs> oh, nah. oh, nah. <laughs> you not, you not plug, plug. Yeah. Hey, yung, ano, if you want to be as good as Sinian, Milicic, Sinian? Michelet. Michelet, Gabi, ano? Yeah. Alam ba, pumunta yun dito? May picture nga kami dalawa, dito mo sa mga. Si Jerry, Jerry Michelet. Jerry, yeah. Oh, mga year to, ano, early 2000, pumunta dito, pa-picture ako sa idol ko, hey! <laughs> Picture kami. Pisto lang gamit. Ang bilis talaga nung taong yun. Talagang ang bilis. Pati yung... Saka akit. Yung, oh. yung, oh, yung revolver niya, pag-change niya ng revolver, parang, parang, pinabato lang na gano'n. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Pag gano'n ka lang, kisap mata mo eh. Ayun, nakaload na. Ang bilis. Grabe yun. Wow. Next Next level. Sanchez State. Na... Sanchez State. Hindi ko alam kung saan. Hindi ko na. Hindi ko na. June and Paul Show. That's a good June and Paul Show. Sabihin nyo, pare. Yung anak na lang, si Lina. Uh, <laughs> ang ganda ba? Nyo. Ay, magaling na shooter din. <laughs> magaling na shooter din yung anak. Yeah. Yeah. Wala raw silang ginawa sa bahay. Kunti pumutok. Eh. <laughs> ginawa nila. Eh. Eric, nagkano ka na rin? Nags- nagsubo ka na rin ng long range sniping. Uh, may competition na ano, mga 200 meters, 300 meters. Meron kaming sinalihan ako dati, rifle. Bundok sa bundok. Nasa, uh, nasa yeah. Kalatagan yon Batangas. Nasa isang bundok kami yung target namin nasa baba. Yung, yung, yung meron lang tatlong flag katabi ng target. Yung Lame. tatlong flag nun, titingnan mo. Ang purpose nun is to watch where the wind is going. Mm-mm. So pag, uh, let's say, pag yeah. uh, papunta sa right yung hangin, magkocompensate ka to the, to the left. Parang ganoon. So magkocompensate ka para tamaan mo yung target. Bali wala yung scope mo. Kung dead zero ka noon, hindi mo tatamaan yeah. dahil may hangin eh. Yeah. Pero may time doon na yung tatlong flag noon, iba-iba yung galaw. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, kasi parang yung yung area nung yung hangin, mountain. may vortex. Oo, oh, oh. oh, may parang gumaganoon. So, hmm. hindi, hindi ko alam paano tamaan. May spotter ka. May spotter ka. Baka bumabal ka nung may baka nung may typhoon yun, Terry. Baka so, <laughs> ah, tawa lang. <laughs> Yung, Baka, yung rules ba nang pare-pareho kayong ri- rifle make or kanya-kanya? Uh, mayroon lang standard rifle, basta standard o 16.5 inch. Mayroon naman minimum eh, 14.5 uh, rifle na length ng rifle. Yun ang pwedeng pinaka-minimum. Uh, Pero ngayon, yung mga bagong palaro ngayon, may kategory na ng PCC, may SBR, so may rolling, yeah, SBR, may micro, yeah. micro ano. So pinapayagan na nila, kaya okay na rin yun. Mahal kasi yung ano eh yung rifle na malalaki, <laughs> mahaba. Eh bawal ang rifle ngayon, di ba, sa civilian. So bawal yung 556. Uh, 556. Yung mga PCC, pwede. PCC pwede. Oh, yeah. 9mm, 45. Pero, pero yung ano, uh, curious lang ako dahil alam ba ako, ako walang alam eh, di ba? Pero si June kasi sta, sinong mas nauna sa inyo, Paul and June? Si June, nauna ka ba, Paul? S- So, so kami nag kami nag ano nag uh, get our license pet people started a little bit earlier. 
Ah, so, so anong anong ano what would you say anong level niyo ngayon? Mili check level na ba kayo? <laughs> ah, wala, ang layo. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually nung kasi si Jun tamad mag-practice yan eh. Hindi <laughs> 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 na lang ako sa punta ka, binisita ko yan sa bus, sa kanila, tapos punta kami ng shooting range. Tinuturo ako ng mga drills na ginagawa ko. Actually, this is a good story. Judy, ikaw nga magkwento. No, ikaw nga magkwento. That, yeah, you, you, you go. You go. So, may mga drills akong ginagawa kasi how to improve. Eh, marami na rin akong naging instructor na natuturuan ako. So, I, for me, friend ko naman siya. I'll share my info, my my knowledge. So, ando kami sa shooting range. Uh, yung isang uh, safety officer, Pinoy, in, uh, nanunu- nanunood sa amin. So, Next thing you know, sabi ko nung natapos na yung mga drills namin, naglagay lang ako ng ano, ng tape. You know, yung isang isang masking tape, tape, masking tape. Nilagay ko ng ano, ng 20 yards. Hmm. So sabi ko kay June, okay, yan ang target natin. Patama, tirahin natin yan. Hmm. Unang putok ni June, tinamaan ka agad yung tape. Nice. <laughs> nice. Minte, ako mintes, ni hindi gumalaw yung tape eh. <laughs> Pakalawang, palawa, pakalawang, ano, putok. Tumama na naman si Jun. Uh, puta, siyempre, ako puta, ako pinagpapawisan na ako puta. Ako yung instructor. Puta, hindi ako makatama. Nalimit ko sa amin yung mga range officer. Nalimit ko sa amin yung officer. So, bumarin uli ako, mintis na naman. Sabi ko, puta, yes, ako nagtuturo, ako hindi makatama. <laughs> Saka ito pa, ang gamit ni June is yung Taurus. Ang, tam- ang gamit ko, Glock. If you look at the barrel, mas mahaba yung barrel ko kaysa kay June. Oh, yeah. That means oh. I have more control. Yeah. Sinuwerte naman, nung pangatlong round namin, siya naman ang mumintay, sa ako naman ang tumama. <laughs> Sabi ko, savior, savior. <laughs> Next thing you know, dalawa ng safety officer yung nanonood sa amin. Sabi ng safety officer, eh paano kung ganto? Tinang dinala yung ano, yung tape. Ano, mas maliit na target ngayon nilagay, di ba? Sabi lipat kay lipat kay rito, just go to the middle of the range para kasi ngayon ang dami ng range officer na tumit manunood sa amin kasi gumagawa kami gumagawa kami ng mga trick shot eh. Nagla- saka naglagay din kami ng cotton bud. Yung dulo lang. Yun ang patatamaan namin. Tinatamaan namin ni June. So nung nilagay nila ng 20 yards uli, hindi tumatama yung mga safety officer. Kami ni June... Ah, nakilaro na. Nakilaro. Nakilaro, nakilaro, nakilaro na. sila. Kami ang sapul, sapul namin ang sapul. Next thing yes. you know, parel, in that, in that range, sa tingin ko lahat ng safety officer nandun sa kasarum namin. Nandunong. <laughs> Saya, saya. Like lahat nag step up na eh. Yan lahat yeah. nag step up. They 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 start doing tricks and what not. Tapos nung paalis na kami, lumapit yung safety officer. Tinanong sa amin kung instructor daw kami. Kami dalawa ni Jude. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That was sabi namin din. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sabi na, sabi ko, yeah. We're, you know, we we don't teach uh, firearms, but we teach uh, Filipino martial art. Eh, Pilipino ay naman. So actually, it was, it was good. Then, uh, Marunong mag-Tagalog. Next... Ah, hindi. Marunong mag-Tagalog. Pila me. Pila. Pila. So, but it was a good experience. I mean, doon ako talaga pinagpuhisa ko. Ngayon ako nagtuturo, mas magaling pa itinuturo ako. Almost like when I taught Henry. Man, he shot like twice, bullseye. And I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> Ito yung ano eh. Photographer kasi eh. Inano namin eh. kasi siya eh. Nakakatawa eh. In-interview namin yung saan ba itong kampo na to? Sa anong lugar to? Sa May Mindanao eh. Pumunta kami dun sa ano nung special forces dun eh. So pinag-unrange kami. Yung ano, yung rifle. May spotter. Eh parating, yung sabi niya, sa kaliwa. Kaya tanong ko, Anong ibig sabihin mo? Yung bala to tama sa kaliwa? <laughs> o oh, dalhin ko sa kaliwa? Hindi kami magkaintindihan. Hindi ko tinatamaan. Hindi. Ano ba? Ano ba? Anong ibig sabihin? Ah, okay. Nung nalaman ko, pang, pang, pang. Inubus ko yung magasin. Inubus ko yung lahat. 
Actually, <laughs> si Eric, <laughs> si Eric magaling talaga si Eric. I mean, uh, ang Master. yeah, uh, he can actually move and shoot. <laughs> nice. Actually, si Eric, sinigawan ako nung isang besa kasi nung actually initiation namin ni Zach. Actually, initiation ni Zach. Ikaw magkwento nun. Ako daw humihinto. Hala, ha? Halos batukan na ako ni Eric. <laughs> Nandadaya ka po. <laughs> ano, yung sa get out of the X, di ba? Yeah. Ang, ang point doon, you have to move while shooting para hindi ka, let's say, yung kalaban mo, binaparil ka, yeah. hindi ka naka-stationary, tatamaan ka eh. Yeah. So, move, move, move ka lang. Habang yeah. uh, tumiti, bumaparil ka, Kumagalaw ka rin. Dapat ganun. Ah, kasi yeah. priority mo is not to get hit. Not to get hit. Diba? Oh, yes, okay. your main priority. It's not really right. to hit the target. Eh, sabi ano, ni... Wala, wala kang tataguan. Humihinto daw ako. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> oh. ah, may nag-ano, yung meron nang uh, share sa amin dati nung... Uh, Siyempre, nagtitraining kami dahil nag-aaw siya kami. Tsaka, uh, una, nagta-target kami ng paper. Kasi ang galing pala psychologically oh. Pinadala kami ng ano um, ano kaya explanation on Eric. Pinadala kami ng ano ng hindi na raw namin gagamitin na polo. Ah, Bak- okay. Ito gandang question niya. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to ask that too. Okay, ito to. Tayo nagpo-practice tayo sa target boards. So makita mo ang ganda ng grouping, dikit na dikit. Pag binigisan mo 'yan, hindi mo na makikita kung saan tumatama yan. Saka, mm. may, parang mayroong psychological effect na tao na to. ba diba? Kasi ganun, naglalaro kami. Gaganda ng tama namin. O, bisa natin yan. Kunyari, talaga actual IDPA style na nakabisa yung kalaban. Prata, tapapak. Iba-iba yung tama. Hindi na, hindi na consistent yung tama mo. Okay. Pero tatamaan mo pa rin. Now, ito pa. Ito, uh, with that train of thought, no? may mga nakasama kaming mga sundalo, military. Tapos, mga civilians, yung tama na sa mga target papers lang, groupings, gaganda. Yung mga military, kalat-kalat. Hmm. Tapos, sabi na, ano pa na, nag-high five sila. Sabi na, teka ko na, ba't, ba't gano'n ang reason nyo? Di ba, dapat center mass para siguran bagsak. Sabi, sabi naman ng military, eh, sa amin ho, pag marami kami tinamaan at kalat-kalat dyan, maraming ooperahin yung doktor kung mabuhay pa yun. Ang galing! Ang galing! Sabi ko, bak, ang iba. Tuna ako sa sarili ko, sabi ko, ba't pa ako magtuturo? Ganyan lang pala ang tatama sa'yo, di ba? Tama rin sila, di ba? Ang galing! Basta tama, pagkalatin sa katawan, hindi mo na kailangan titirahin mo lang yung puso. Hindi, tabangan mo yung baga, patay, malulunod na yun eh. Di ba? Malulunod sa sarili. Hindi, tsaka, ang galing, may isa, iba rin pala, rin pala sila mag-planning military eh. Kasi not necessarily to kill. Sabi nila kasi pag tinamaan mo yung tao na buhay, minsan mas gusto mo yun dahil kakargay nila yun. Oo. Oh, ah, ano, eh. Kung kasuhan ka pa, itapos oh. yun. <laughs> galing ano, galing. Saka di ba sa'yo mo Eric, dati nung bumaril, nung una mong, bum, una mong first time na bumaril na nakadamit yung, ano, yung, yung target. Sa'yo mo, iba, iba, iba feeling. Diba? Oh, iba feeling talaga. Actually, yung, iba-iba yun. Ha? Sa akin, parang ah. mas nagigil ako. Kasi parang iisip ko, kalabang ko ito. Kailangan ito tumbay. Ah. Kaya kahit anong asinta ko, alam ko naman naka-center mas ako, mm. tumatama sa mga site, mga ganun. Hindi ko matamaan. Kasi nakadamit eh. Oh. Wow. Kinagkataon yung damit ko, damit ko pa. Damit ko yan. Damit ko yan. Damit ko yan. Kung may kalaban ka pala, kung galit ka doon sa kalaban mo, nagtataka siya, pupunta ka sa kanya, titapan mo siya ng target dito sa... Question lang, if you are a competitor, syempre iba yung level ng competitor, eh, di ba? More than that, okay. Uh, how important is cardio? Do you train? Do you actually train your cardio for, before competition? Yes, so uh, kaya before that actually ginagawa ko meron kahit yung sa TV yung mga walking exercise yung mga mm. uh, aside from walking yung parang zumba kasi mo uh-huh. lateral may movements ka na madalas ra- lateral movement eh hindi naman mm. normal sa atin yan di ba normally yeah. diretso atras lang tayo eh so you have to, yeah then yung ma-practice mo lang yung diagonal, lateral left and right na movement para pag yeah. ginalaw, ginawa mo yun, hindi ka matatalisod ng sarili mong paa. Ako nga, no? Ako nga, no? Side-side steps kang gano'n. Pag yun, ginagawa sa Sumba yun, eh. Kakatuwa nga, eh. <laughs> Saka si Eric, <laughs> nag-ano ka rin? Oh. FMA ka rin, Eric? Nag-FMA ka ba? Hindi, et, nanonood lang ako kay Paul, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, sabihin ni Paul, Paul, may sasabihin ka. 
Actually, sabi ko sa inyo, si Eric malakas baga niyan, swimmer yan. Oh, yeah, he, he, he swims. He swims a lot. So yeah, no, don't make him fool you. That guy has a lot of uh, malakas ang baga niya. Uh, graceful, graceful tayo, graceful. Graceful. Dapat graceful. Eric, ah, go ahead. Go, go ahead, Henry. Uh, go well, ahead, go ahead. Uh, tanong ko lang, uh, di ba mga Pilipino kadalasan pag you know may mga turo is hit hit the hips. Ginagawa ba rin ba sa Pilipinas siya? Alam mo na World War II eh, karamihan ng mga sundalo sa atin eh, yun sila sa center mass, head, whatever. Kaso may mga Pilipino na alam ko dati ata, ang target kadalasan nila, hips. Oh yeah, true. Kasi basically nung panahon noon, ma- hindi naman tayo matatangkad pa eh. So yung center of mass natin, hip ng kalaban. Di ba? Yeah. Ganun lang yun. <laughs> yun lang yung at tingin kong reason doon. Saka syempre, pag tinama mo sa doon eh na immobilize na yan hindi na magagalaw correct go ahead henry you you had a question nakalimutan ko eh okay hindi mo na bigyan mo lang ako ng 3 minutes may kakausapin lang ako okay okay sige 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 kayo oy hindi niyo nakalimutan mag-record ah ayun it's recording it's recording yeah it's recording masarap ka usap si eric bro masarap ka usap si eric Uh, enjoy na enjoy siya sa ano eh sa oh sayang uh, din niya na simulan so kailangan niya panoorin niya simula ang ganda ng simula niya talaga anong age yeah. siya nagsimula uh, ano hindi na namin nagsimula? Ano? eh wala walang age age kasi alam mo na <laughs> no age required <laughs> Mukha naman kasing bata natin yan eh <laughs> kaya so, batch ni ano eh kabatch ni Paul eh classmate ni Paul di ba Yeah, classmate ko. Yeah. Ah, classmate. Yeah. Si, ano rin si Jun ba is younger than us? Yeah, older. Older. How old are you, Jun? Teka lang, what was... Uh, yeah, he's 40 old. 40 pa lang si Jun ata, di ba? Jun, 40 ka pa lang? 44. Ha? Huh? Yeah. He's older 44? than us. 44. Oh, oh, oh. oh, Tama oh, talaga, kuya. Ten kuya. Kuya. 10 years old. Kuya. Kuya. <laughs> Paano po? <laughs> <laughs> Ay, na-discover no, ko ano, na pala no, na... Ako, Na-discover ko na pala kung ba, Di ba notice nyo para ako nakakalbo Nahuli ko yung misis ko Tuwing gabi Kinukuha yung buho ko Ginagayin mo pala ako <laughs> Kaya pala in love na in love pa ako Hanggang ngayon <laughs> uh, Hello, yung ginawa hello. namin yung drill na yun, uh, Paul, yung sa shirt, yung sinabi. Mm-hmm. Kung tawa si Mike, tinawag yung isang instructor, Johnny, tingnan mo to. Sabi ka na, tinignan. Pag tinignan ka na, sabi, bata, killer ka. Buta lahat dito. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, guys. Yeah, should we uh, should we get ready to wrap up? Yeah. And maybe like, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, 10%. Yeah, yeah, five, five. Lang. Yep. My my battery. Uh, my... Si, si Anthony para ano? Magready na? Mm. Si Anthony din ba nag-opening remarks? Oh, yeah. kasi ayaw namin maging ano eh, June and Paul lang eh. Kasi masisira yung ano namin, yung yeah. yung ano namin. Oh, it's so much back. Ako may yeah, client so call si Tony, yeah. si Anthony. So, so may, it, may, it, message lang daw namin. Oh, client Eric, service. are you back? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. So, since we're going almost an hour and a half, maganda yung kwentuhan. Oh, but sorry, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we're going to probably do another follow-up with this. Kasi ayaw naman namin kunin lahat ng time mo. But we enjoyed all the information that you, you shared with us. Kung pwede lang, uh, pakireview naman nung ano, process para magkaroon ng ano, license kung may mga taong gustong mag-carry ng baril dyan sa Pilipinas, babalik okay. from, you know, kung pakiribu like, lang no, sa kanila. Na, memorize natin ngayon, ha? banata natin. Banata okay. natin, yes. So, to get an LTAP, if it's your first time to get a firearm, kailangan mo siya pa ng um, proof of identity. So, it's either passport or birth certificate kasi requirement na Filipino ka and you have to be 25 years, 25, 21 years old and above. So, tapos kailangan mo ng proof of billing. So, credit card bills, utility bills, kailangan mag- 
padala ka rin nun. Next is yung uh, parang proof of capacity na you have to show them na you have you know you can pay yung mga legal mga fees nila. Diba? So those three plus an NBI clearance, police clearance, uh, you have to go there to get your neuro exam, drug test, Uh, basically yun lang yun uh, matagal lang doon basically pagkukuha ng mga pagkagather ng other requirements pero the rest isang puntahan na lang may one stop shop na like mm-hmm. yung euro and drug test doon mo na gagawin and then it will take you probably two weeks to a month ganun ng sistema ngayon pero lang yung capacity na. sorry uh, sorry para lang na, ano question ko lang yung sa capacity proof of capacity kailangan ba ITR or pwedeng bank bank uh, pwedeng ano certificate of employment pwedeng certificate of employment yeah tapos sa saka uh, uh, Eric uh, gun safety di ba may gun safety rin yeah yeah pala tama you also, you also need to have a gun safety seminar seminar na uh, dapat verified uh, parang ver- verified pa sa FEO yun lang parang bak- bakit mo pa be-verify kasi yeah. yung yung gun safety seminar naman eh verified rin ng ano ng uh, trame <laughs> di ba Yeah. Uh, anyway, siyempre no. One, one time lang guys. One time lang naman gagawin yung other requirements. Yeah. So succeeding renewals, yung simple na lang LTO, ay sorry, uh, yung uh, neuro drug test, uh, police clearance na lang. Yung NBI clearance by the way tinanggal na kahapon. kahapon oh, tinanggal na. na. Wow. So, okay. Yun. So, yun ang kailangan sa LTAP. LTAP. So, once, okay. Kung nakuha mo na, you have a license to own a gun wala pa yung license per firearm mo. So, sa LTAP, ah, may, di- sa LTAP may different uh, types yan. May type 1 for maximum of 2 firearms. Type 2, maximum of 5. Type 3, maximum of 10. Type 4, maximum of 15. Type 5, one to sawa kung ilan ang kaya mong ano, bilhin. Yeah. Bilhin, oo. Kaya lang, malaki kasos mo nun. Saka may additional requirements na kailangan kang i-produce kung ikaw ay antique collector, kung ano collector ka, or yun, ganyan. So, additional requirements yun. So, basically, sa mga civilians, kailangan lang naman natin, isa o dalawang baril, so type 1 is enough. Pasok na. Uh, yep. Pasok na. Tapos, there's some, merong meron kasi sa batas natin, na ang yung amo mo, you need to have 50, ang maximum of 50 rounds of ammo per caliber, per gun mo. So, ano ba, tatlo ang 9mm mo, pwede kang magkaroon ng 150 rounds sa bahay. Sa bahay. Yeah. But, if you are a sports shooter, uh, pag sports shooter ka, meron kang additional 1,000 pesos yung dati, nilalagay rin sa LTAP mo, you can have parang minimum 500 rounds per caliber, per gun. No? So, sa akin sports shooter, kaya marami akong mabala. Mala. <laughs> Good job. Oh, eh, <laughs> eh, eh, ako, eh, diba? yeah. Okay. So, yun. Tapos, uh, uh, aside from that one, so yung na, na, uh, kailangan mo ng uh, firearm license. So, firearm license, madali na yan. Kailangan mo lang pakita yung yung LTAP mo. Tapos, uh, basically, LTAP lang. Saka yung dealers na dealership, sila na mag-aasikaso. So, ang cost ng gun per firearm pistola, is 1,600 pesos. So, good for four years yun. So, 1,600 yes. pesos plus 200 for ID. So, 1,800 ang lalabas mo per firearm na bibilin mo. Tapos, permit to carry naman, kailangan mo yung LTAP mo, yung firearm license mo, tapos uh, NBI clearance. Ewan ko kung tinanggal na nila kasi iba ang permit to carry at iba yung, L- yung LTAP. Yung LTAP, LTAP. hawak ng PNP. Uh, FEO ang umahawak. Yung PTC ang umahawak dyan ay si Chief PNP. Rakit niya yun. Uh, ano niya yun? Ano lang? Fight nila yun. Sorry ha. Sorry. Baka may magalit eh. So, ibang department yun. Hindi ko lang alam kung tinanggal sa batas yung NBI. Doon lang sa LTAP. Ewan ko sa sa permit to carry kung kailangan pa nila o tinanggal na rin. So, basically, pag ikaw ay kukuha ng pupunta sa krame, ang cost ng... Uh, permit to carry na pistol is 6,000 plus 200 yung ID. So, 6,200. Ngayon, kagandahan doon is na kompleto ka ng requirements plus yung threat assessment mo na sinasabi ko kanina, punta ka ng 7 o'clock doon, 7.30, tapos ka ng 
before lunch tapos na yung labas na yung ID mo. Sa wow. Pepeteri. Ganun kabilis. Ganun kabilis. Maganda yun. So, basta iba kasi yung yung process nila eh. Iba yung process ng LTAP. Mas maraming tao dun sa LTAP eh. Mm-hmm. So, so yun. So yun yung mga documents na kailangan mo. So meron ka na nun. Bibili ka na nun. Nakabili ka na ng baril. Lagi mo ng PTC. Gusto mo mag-accessorize ng baril mo. Ang suggestion ko, wag muna. Bugbugin mo muna yung baril mo. Saka ka na mag-accessorize. Yung gastos mo sa accessories mo, ilagay mo sa training. Ilagay training. mo sa range time. Yes, diba? nice. Yun ang number one na dapat mag- wag mo na pagandahin. Diba? Sabihin, ganun din naman yan. Eh. Pag binenta mo yan, ganun din ang presyo yan. Kahit may accessories pa yan. Eh. Babarating yeah. ka lang. Eh. Diba? Yeah, yeah. So, invest on training kasi hindi na mata- mananakaw sa'yo yun. Eh. Pag tinuloyin ka, wala nang makakakuha sa yours. iba na. It's Correct. yours for life. Diba? Tapos, as much as possible, kung meron kang makita iba-ibang class in training, meron kasing training sa mga expansion. Yung simple and simple. Meron pang CQB, meron pang low light, o may pang specific firearm like uh, shotgun training, may mga rifle, ang dami niyan. So, mas may, may alam ka sa bawat isa, then piliin mo lang yung applicable sa'yo. Diba? Ayun. Very good, very good. So, yun ang magandang nice. sa ating lahat. Nice. Okay, say something about your uh, spades. Well, um, right now kasi uh, may pandemic pa dito so hindi kayo masyado active. Although we we meet naman, we exchange uh, pleasantries and uh, uh, do some fellowship madalas. Uh, hopefully, pag uh, lumuwag na itong uh, mga ano natin, itong sa pandemic natin, maka pag fun shoot ulit kami. Kasi masaya eh. Kikita-kita kayo for several years. Magkakasama na naman ulit kayo. So, yan. Yeah. Ayan. How about uh, your um, say something about what you've learned on knife defense with a pistol? Well, uh, first of all, I'm very oh, well, grateful. Okay. Yes, meron, meron. <laughs> wala daw, wala daw. Sabi ni Eric, wala daw kwenta yung nagturo. Eh. Ah, <laughs> well, joke, joke, joke. <laughs> sa knife defense, sa amin kasi, yung, well, particularly for me, yung nagustuhan ko kasi naghahanap ako ng ng uh, parang method na pag meron nangyaring let's say knife attack yung makakapag-transition well ako from my firearm yung, to address the situation kasi kadalasan nang nangyari na uunahan ng saksak bago ka makabunod ng baril so salamat kay Paul binigyan kami ng idea kung paano namin makakapag-create ng distance at uh, by time para uh, uh, ma-address namin situation So, pag meron ganyan, alam namin gagawin namin, kasayawan lang namin ng konti bago na, habang pinupunutan, di ba? Yun. <laughs> Yun ang maganda doon. Galing. Sasayawan. <laughs> Sasayawan. Oh. Nice wording. Nice wording. Pinapractice ko, pinagsusumba ako. <laughs> so, and what we recommend also, yung sa dulo sa dulo, am I right? Yung, uh, if you can't afford to buy a firearm, yeah. uh, oh, well, Yeah. Anything you can use, eh, the keys of your car. Yung magagat yung malalaki yun. Diba? You can pierce the eye, pierce dito, di ba? Pwede dito yep. kung saan man malalampot. Pwede dito kung sa dista ka, kung saan mo pwedeng tirahin, di ba? Kasi pag malapit yan, mas madaling tamaan pag malapit, lalo kung di kitang kayo, di ba? Sa akin lang naman, pag ang rule ko, pag mas matangkad sa akin, eh, di di kitang ko. Pag mas maliit sa akin, lalayuan ko kasi mas mabilis siya sa akin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So situational awareness any any last thoughts on situational awareness yeah, be observant sa surroundings nyo so malaman mo naman there's always this gut feel pag naramdaman mo yun as much as possible kung kaya mo umiwas iwas na lang di ba don't have to go through it eh, kasi baka uh, minsan may feeling ka na hindi maganda di ba sa crowd hindi maganda just leave para wala nang mangyari di ba iwas kasi pag may mangyari malamang sila yari sa iyo. Ganun mangyayari noon eh. So iwas na lang, iwas gulo. Di ba? So any questions from the panel? Ang nasagot niya lahat eh. Galing na, ang galing eh. Nasagot lahat eh. No, that was a very a very Paano great. Kaya ang kuha ng permit ng uh, RPG sa kanan tank. <laughs> so, bawal po sa atin sa batas na kasi noon eh. Uh, hindi na siya type A weapon, hindi na siya carry weapon. Kailangan dalawang tao na. So, bawal sa atin nun. 
Hindi, kaya, kaya, kaya nga gusto ko ano eh, magbakasin tayo sa Vietnam. Kasi sa Vietnam, <laughs> di ba sa tourist, may RPG range sila. Oh, pero ba doon? <laughs> pero <laughs> tingnan mo sa YouTube. Yun ang rocket nila eh. Oh, oh. Hirap naman nun, mahal siguro ng bahala nun. <laughs> so, sa so states may mga ganyan, di ba? Oh, meron, lahat, meron. Ano, pwede sa states eh. Meron. meron. <laughs> Eric, nakita mo sa US, pare, yung meron silang isa talagang mabibingi ka eh. Lahat ng klaseng ano, lahat ng klaseng machine gun. Oo. Oh, from ano, from, from gatling oh, gun. Oo, oh, ano sa mga ano na. <laughs> Grabe. Pang, pang anti-aircraft na yata yun eh. Anti-aircraft. <laughs> di ba? Galing. <laughs> Wala, ingit lang tayo. <laughs> oh, ingit din ako. Hindi, uh, hindi ko pa nagagawa yung mga yun eh. Pag nagawa ko na, pay. <laughs> oh, ito pa, pare, yeah. ito, isa pa, pahablo pa lang. Sige, ba, sige. Tayo, natutuwa tayo sa mga iba-ibang klaseng barrel. Diba? Ako ganun, sakit ko rin yun dati eh. Pero oh. later on, uh, basta importante yung basic, alam mo, yung basic trigger pull. Yung hawak mo, alam mo yan, irregardless kung anong barrel mo. Tatama at tatama ka. Yun lang kailangan malaman mo. Yung pinang basic na basic. So, bigyan ka ng, okay, bigyan ka ng uh, Norinco. Alam ko yan. Big, bigyan mo lang ako ng mga one minute mag-trigger. Uh, ano lang eh, practice trigger. Alam ko, tampi ipatama na. So, ganun nice. din yan. Pag nalaman, you don't have to buy the most expensive gun. Kasi, uh, di ba, bili ka lang nung kaya mo. Tapos, eh, mapapag-practisan mo. Actually, yung pinaka-importante, mapapag-practisan mo eh. Correct, yung, correct. Yung, yung mahal na barrel eh, baka, baka hindi mo gamitin. Oo, oh, hindi mo gamitin. <laughs> Di-display mo lang. Oh, so, kagaya nung pabo knife mo, display mo lang. Hindi mo gamitin. Parang yan yung mga, parang yan yung mga comics na hindi binubuklat o kaya oh, yung mga, collection yun. Yung mga Gundam na hindi binubuklat na natanggal sa oh, Voltage 5 na hindi tinatanggal. Oo, oh. oo. Kaso maganda yung recommend, maganda yung ano, yung sinabi mo. That's true. Uh, you need to learn para kahit anong barrel pwede mong gamitin. Oh, ganun lang basic lang naman eh, di ba? So yung sayang kasi marami sa atin na excited. Oy, maganda 'to na peer pressure. Oh, kuha nga ako niyan. Oh. Yeah. Ako kaya ako nag-transfer from 1911 to Glock eh. Una ayo ko ng Glock kasi bad parang simple simple plastic. Magkaano pa pag ginampas mo sa kalaban mo, di ba? Baka hindi mabubulan. Pero na-realize ko, pag yung 1911 ko, nahuhulog sa pantalon mo dahil mabili. Diba? Diba? Pag, pag tatakbo, hahawakan mo pa. So, tapos, tapos yung pag nasira, ang daming gagalawin. Minsan pati sir, ako nga, hindi na ako nagbubukas ng baril na umaabot sa doon. Doon sa mismong ganong level ng internals. Eh. So mm-hmm. mali lang galaw mo doon. Mag- yung baril mo magiging parang armahit na dire-diretso. <laughs> Ang hirap buksan. Lagi ka naihiwa. Di ba? Ang daming ano. Yeah. Eh, no offense sa 1911. Nagsimula rin ako dun eh. Meron din ako 1911. Yeah. Nakatabi na lang. <laughs> Nakadisplay. <laughs> okay. Good good advice, Eric. I mean, uh, I know it's always a pre- pleasure talking to you. Uh, me too. Me too. Thank you very much for yeah, the opportunity. Um, Teka muna. Last word muna natin. Ma-panel. Sino magsisimula? Last word. Una, una lang kami para kayo huli ni June and Paul. Para June and Paul. Yep. Sige, sige. Uh, ako lang, as, as always, sobrang tuwa ako uh, dahil very informative at saka ako, ano eh, parang ano eh, nagiging common sense yung the way mag-explain si Eric. Uh, oh. Alam mo na yun, parang very practical, very common sense at saka serious kaya, katulad nga ng sinabi ni Paul na unlike sa martial arts where may tendency tayong mag- uh, Fu, 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 fu. Pagdating sa firearms, very serious. Di ba? Very Tama. serious. So, doon ako tuwan-tuwa sa firearms in general at saka tuwan-tuwa ako kay Eric and very thankful ako na tinuroan kami at uh, wala kaming gastos maski bala. <laughs> Hindi namin pinakain si Eric. <laughs> so, may utang pa kami kay Eric. Uh, thank you very much. Kaya parinig yung kanina, Henry, eh, na liman, uh, liman da. Uh, uh, ikaw naman, Iwan, para huli sila, ano? Uh, hindi, ako naman, so, tuwan-tuwa rin ako, kahit late na ako, nahinayang ako na nahuli ako. Mixed feelings lang ako, dahil kasi, <laughs> mixed feelings talaga ako. Ang problema ko kasi, eh, pagka na, napambili ko niyan, alam ko na eh. Kahit, oh. 
<laughs> Addict talaga ako. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, you, no, very, very informative. At saka, uh, I can see that you're a really, really good instructor. Ay, salamat po. <laughs> ah. Ako naman, oh yeah, now, salamat sa time for sharing, you know, the details done and sharing the story of how you got into firearms. That was a uh, very, you know, very uh, shocking story. But uh, more than anything, salamat sa, ano, sa you know, giving the insights on A, the process. That was very interesting. Um, and then realizing how critical it is that mag everyday carry ako even as vacationing na I have to consider kung anong klase ng weapon ang gagamitin ko for everyday carry hindi basa basa kuchilio o well barely hindi naman pwede but you know kuchilio I thought was gonna be something a little bit more manageable pero that's definitely not the direct option so but no no I appreciate it very awesome interview awesome stories and um yeah, looking forward to meeting you pag ano pagdating jan uh, sure John anytime <laughs> I gotta get my speed shirt. Kagaya ni Kipo. Ako naman, Eric. Oh, oh, si, oh, si Tony. Sige. Ikaw na closing word, Anthony. Ako muna. Ako muna. Oh, sige, sige. Ikaw closing eh. Oh, uh, Eric, uh, nagpapasalamat ako that, that you uh, pinaunlakan mo kami sa interview na to. Uh, I know you're busy. Saka actually, uh, para lang ano, masabi ko, ikaw pa rin ang aking teacher sa shooting. <laughs> Right. So, so, sa, ano, oh. <laughs> so actually, uh, uh, very good bonding. Uh, Eric is my you know best friend back way back in high school. So, marami kami ano, marami kami pinagsamahan yan. And uh, up to now, uh, I consider him as family. So, natutuwa naman ako at na-share ko ang aking kaibigan sa inyong lahat. So, sana yung mga... <laughs> saka sana naman yung mga nanonood sa amin sa show na to is natuto at nakita nyo naman na even though nagtatawa ng kami, this is a serious matter. You know, uh, uh, ang guns is really safety. I mean, sana naka-take home nyo yan. Safety, safety, safety. So again, salamat, uh, Eric. I know I will see you again. To you, yeah. Anthony. Anthony. Hello, Kuya Eric. Yes. Tuning mo ako. Kapagyo. Pasensya na. At hindi ako masyado nakasali sa kwentuhan. Pero anyway, I would just like to thank you for having uh, here with us uh, explaining the gun safety the importance ng uh, responsibility of having a gun as a civilian or as a law enforcement. So, kahit hindi ako masyadong nakapakinig, pero alam ko, yun yung topic. At alam ko, yun yung mga... <laughs> <laughs> so, gayon pa man, maraming maraming salamat sa FMT. Take consideration, learning also uh, gun and being responsible sa, sa sarili natin at, at, at sa kapwa natin. So, Wait. Sir Eric, last word yep. po para sa mga FMA community. Last word. Okay. <laughs> Thank you po sa lahat. Uh, na po tayo. Pwede nyo naman ako tawagan next time eh. <laughs> <Anytime>. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, advice mo lang. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. uh, closing remarks? Closing Wait, remarks. Ikaw yun, Eric. No? Yeah. Okay. Oh, when it, when oh, it yeah, comes three. to firearms po, uh, dapat po, number one is safety, safety, safety. Kasi once we do something with our firearm, eh, hindi na natin mababalik yun. Hindi tulad ng alam, may nasugatan lang tayo, gagaling yung sugat. But this time, it may be permanent. And baka tayo malamang, makukulong ka niyan. Ayaw naman natin nun. So, uh, learn how to use it. Train, train, and train. Diba? Uh, there are a lot of ways train. Go to the range or attend competitions. Tapos uh, sa internet, marami ka rin makikita. Pero, you know, you have to pick those that, you know, you will help you. Huwag yung masyadong uh, hindi mo naman kayang gawin yung gagawin mo. Hindi naman, I guess, hindi naman siguro tama rin yun. You know? So, yun po. Uh, be safe and happy shooting. Nice! Yes. <laughs> Galing! Galing! <laughs>
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Malakpakan tayo kay Kuya Eric. Wala, wala tayong ganyan. Wala tayong ganyan. Picture, picture. Picture mo na. Picture. You bird, you bird. Picture. Ikaw mag-picture. Picture. 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 Ikaw, Henry, ang magbi-picture. Hindi, ikaw, wala akong picture. Patay tayo dyan. Ka-capture ko sa video yun. Ka-capture ko sa video. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so again, thank you again, June and Paul Show, Karatang Gahe and FMA Community for taking your time to watch this very informational and educational interview with Sir Eric, Kuya Eric. So again, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. See you again. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Bye. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you again. See you again. Thank you.